yeah, I'm going to edit the shit out of this thing. Nobody going to be edit talking. Or... <laughs> it's just going to be white noise. <laughs> <laughs> just Jess going, shh. <laughs> just everybody stop talking right now. All right. I will say, though, I am recording. <laughs> Good. So be a part of the... Be a part of the... The highlight reel, man. Yeah, and then maybe one point that he can be part of the solution. Yeah, I thought I already was a part of the solution, Sunshine. <laughs> Ooh. I don't know who Sunshine is. <laughs> That's all right. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Just because he was there. <laughs> like I saw it there, it's like, eh, you know what? I want, don't want this here anymore. <laughs> I'm guessing you guys are co-oping something. No, no, he subbed to me again. Ah, oh. yeah, how <laughs> eight terrible! Months, eight months in a fucking row. Jesus Christ, man. Also, hey. what's up, Leo? How you doing, homie? Oh yeah, you might want to change that. Eddie, to uh, add Phantom on there. Uh, I motherfucker! Uh, I have to go <laughs> all the way. Wait, wait, what stream? I don't even see the stream, man. I have no idea. What's oh, that's now. true. Good, I good don't point. even. I don't even have. I have to go all the way back into Photoshop and just. Here, add, here. I'll, don't yeah. worry, bro. I I'll save you time by giving you. Uh, oh shit! I don't have it. Well, I guess I, I know how to fix <laughs> it. Adam, get out. <laughs> <laughs> that, that'll be the, that'll be the fix of the problem. I mean, you can use this as an image. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we, are, we are professionals. All right. I, we started a... like 10 minutes ago. We still haven't even done the introduction. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll, have you, I'll have you know. <laughs> Pretty much. We, we are professionals. All right. We are to be treated with respect and dignity. So professional, you didn't yeah, even get proof, your stream. Proof that I'm a professional. Oh, I have a jar full of you know, pennies. Sorry, hold on. Hey, that's more professional than I am at this very moment. Exactly. <laughs> I didn't bring shit. So let's, let's talk well about Rainbow Six tie. Siege. <laughs> okay, best game ever or bestest game ever? No. <laughs> get well, out. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here you go. <laughs> Shut up, Yoko. <laughs> I already got it. Thanks. Yeah, so much. I already got it. Here. He's got me covered. Uh, Fucking shit. <laughs> Eddie, the solution. I'm trying to be on top of things, and I'm not on top of things, and it's making me sadder by the second. <laughs> He's more like the bottom bitch. Why, why don't you use the Discord uh, this Discord kit instead? So, you know, whoever's in this specific chat will appear on the, on the you know, the, pan, you know, the stream thing. Because then, actually, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Melt the, melt the cell. You were showing up by the new guy. I know a lot of stuff. Shut up, new guy. He knows a hell of a lot more than I do. There you go. <laughs> Very true. That would make good use. <laughs> All right. So, uh, I guess time for introductions. Uh, welcome, everybody, to the No Name Podcast. Uh, we finally got that fourth Jess has been wanting to bring in. We'll say, everyone say hi to Phantom Combo. Stop. Stop, dude. You can't, oh, dude. you can't freaking inter- uh, greet yourself. <laughs> oh, I'm just saying it's up to you guys. What's Why can't he just say <laughs> hi and be he nice? Said, you told us to say hi to him. So. I said everyone is, <laughs> say hi to the new guy. I did not mean himself. That's not how introductions go. Hey, At least well, I don't think I so. Think I think deserve... say hi to himself. Uh, he can yeah. say hi to himself. <laughs> Next thing you know, you're going to jack off in a plant. Night. He'll be fine. <laughs> you're go overthinking things. Sometimes <laughs> I check my pants and say hello. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure I'm still a man. Uh, okay, so uh, let's see. Uh, Jazz, you're our usual like main story roundup guy. What's on the board today? All right, so we have the Evo lineup and our thoughts. Also, MVCI talk in the middle of there. We're Just gonna have a split there. review, um, Monster Hunter and Dragon Ball Fighters. We're gonna talk about the Blaze Blue scandal and is it possibly resolved? I like how you spell scandal with a D, with, with an E at there. The fuck? <laughs> I, don't think I that am drunk. <laughs> Sc- scandal. Nobody cares about the scandal. <laughs> <laughs> you 
through one of those whiskey now, mustaches. I was briefly interrupted by the drunk man on the side. <laughs> you can't prove how drunk I am. <laughs> Can I? <laughs> You'd be surprised. To a podcast. <laughs> Also, we're going to talk about our resolutions and how they've gone so far and some side stories, and then we'll be out of here. Okay. Don't say out of here like we're just ready to fucking leave. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm out. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> like, after it's all, hey, guys, after guys. It's all said and done, Jesus Christ. Before we get into those resolutions, I'm just going to say my resolution right now, which is in 1080p. They're done. Hey. Now that's some good Move resolution. On. All right. I get it. I don't like it, but I get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Begrudgingly accept. Hey, sometimes just got to, you know, get wet. You just got to accept. I, I don't you think just, you just got to. <laughs> 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 All, All right. right. So let's do lineup first. And the one, let's just get out the way. The ones we already knew were going to be there Street Fighter and Tekken. Let's just, let's just get them out of the way. <laughs> I mean, okay. I'm not surprised. They're in there. I mean, it's not really much to talk about. <laughs> the, I... only, the only thing I'll say is, far, and it's really about Tekken, really, is I wonder if Noctis will be out before then. Nope. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> Moving on! <laughs> yeah. I mean, we'll probably well, took uh... for Tol uh, was it Tolgis. Not Tolgis, oh god. Uh, uh, Rock franchise. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, don't, you know who I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh Jesus! Are we sure the new guy's not drunk too? <laughs> hey, we're all drunk. Though. No, we don't need to put a gun to <laughs> now. We're all drunk in <laughs> spirit. <laughs> Dude, we just put Shining Finger up. in um, Tekken, and then it'll be like. Has like, anyone oh. bothered to mod Tekken to that degree? I mean, I've seen Street Fighter be modded with uh, Gundam have suits. I haven't seen that. Surprise. <laughs> You'd be surprised cool. with the modding scene on Tekken, man. It's 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 low. It's not as popular, but the quality is high as fuck. Son. I mean, with the way the game is, it has to be. Otherwise, people will just fucking rip on them. Son, mm. son, you haven't lived until you've seen Eliza with her huge tits wearing Nina's leather outfit. You I'm have sorry, not lived. Dad. You okay? have not lived. Excuse me, I, I need to Google I, something. I, right I don't want to live by your rules, Dad. <laughs> Excuse hey, me, why I Google something right quick. <laughs> like you, you ain't living. Post it on son. chat, please. <laughs> you are not. You're not living, son. You don't know what you're missing out on. Hmm. That's God, an issue Dad, when you want to get us. the console version of a game, but then you also want a PC version for those mods. It's that's mm -hmm. pretty much the only reason like people want fighters on PC so they can mod the shit out of them. I mean, like, have you seen oh, the dude, Sonic one? So many mods already. They have Ugandan Knuckles on there. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Which game? I'm kind of confused. Cause... Oh no, fighters. Oh Lord, no. <laughs> what? <laughs> they know the way. <laughs> <laughs> they they knew the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, so Tekken now Seven, no one's surprised. Uh, I will. Street Fighter Five, Street nobody's Fighter surprised 5. really. Nobody's surprised, <laughs> but I am kind of curious to see how big how the numbers are going to change up since like uh, Arcade Edition was actually like a successful launch. It will be interesting because it also has a bigger competition. I think this year, as far as entries as well. Yeah, and because it's like I remember. That like at the end of season two, the numbers for for uh, like streams and stuff were like were pretty high up. So now that like the quote unquote good version of Street Fighter Five is out, uh, I'm curious to like see like how much uh, big how big how much more numbers they can get. God damn! I think it was getting some good reviews before it was even out. Yeah, due yeah. to the tests. Yeah, people were just kind of like, this is the one that'll save the game, and it did. Mm hmm. You know, we can get those two out of the way and go on to the one that's kind of surprising Smash Bros. Yep, that's the one. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I still honestly kind of hate how Melee is just like, is still involved. It, it is kind of weird. It's the community is what drives this game. I, I and know. And it just will not die. I know, but it's kind of like if it. If, Community driven games were like the basis of what uh, of what selects the Evo lineup. I feel like like a bunch of the games would be like, 
one of the older Tekkens, I'm sure you guys know which one would be like the most proficient. Smash Brothers Melee, Marvel 2, fucking CVS 2, and like a whole bunch of other shit. And it's just like, guys, we came up with new games this year. It's like, nobody cares. We want to fucking see these at Evo. <laughs> it really was like that. That's why, that's why I, I sort of like, I, I love Melee, don't get me wrong. I still sort of resent its inclusion because of that. Hmm. I don't know. I, I still just don't see the reason for both melees to be in there. I couldn't tell you because yeah. I haven't even played the Wii U version. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Probably because of nerd death threats. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, like I don't have the consoles, but yeah, you gave me another reason. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like I'm gonna get my mom to suicide bomb you guys. Oh, Jesus! Oh God! <laughs> Whoa, man! T Twitch terms of service, man. Relax. <laughs> oh yeah, they did do that. <laughs> oh why? We can't talk about suicide bombs. I r I rather you didn't. Not with yeah, me. Yeah, we we really can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing it's not my Twitch. <laughs> Whoa. Way to be that guy. <laughs> yeah, fine. I'll try to hold back just because and otherwise I'm sorry. sure Eddie would hunt me down. Mm. He's from Texas. Oh, I, I don't, I I don't see what <laughs> that has to do with anything. <laughs> you got guns over there. I still don't see where me being a Texan and having a gun, I don't see where the similarities lie because anyone can get a gun. <laughs> I mean, yeah, well, look what happened in Florida. Oh, Damn it. Uh, too soon. I knew someone was going to go tsunami, there. Too tsunami, man. <laughs> hey, I knew is... someone was going to go there. I was just like, come who on, is man. it going to be? I live here. <laughs> pay up, pay. Like... I wasn't the one that brought it up. <laughs> hey, that thing happened like a few miles away from me. Yeah, I'm going to bring it up. <laughs> or you could I'm... do one of those like, I survived, so I can make fun of it. I need, I need, I got that PTSD. Hmm. Nah, no. All right, so that's the, that's the Smash Brothers. <laughs> Just to give Eddie less headaches. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, I guess Injustice mm -hmm. Two. Injustice Two, I'm not surprised. To no. be honest, I'm not surprised, I mean, but I kind of feel I I almost want to say that like it's the only reason it's like still there is because of the Ninja Turtles. Once that's out of the way, then it's just like it's gonna drop drop dead. So I, I, I thought that, that too. <laughs> And then I looked at the numbers for Injustice 2 that are still playing. <laughs> it's How many people are still playing? Quite huge. <laughs> at least 10. <laughs> at least oh, would 10. it be replaced with Mortal Kombat then? I mean, don't get me wrong, Injustice 2 is not a bad game, but it is not my type of game. Yeah. I just don't find the gameplay that engaging for mm -hmm. me. Just, uh, for not, Injustice you know, or Mortal I, Kombat? Injustice 2. Yeah, I'm kind of in the same boat. Same. I can I can I can agree I can agree with you on that one, and I would like to think that I in the time that I did play uh, Injustice Two, I did proficient in it. I was proficient enough to say like if I was to like yo I'm gonna get into this game, it'd be a good time. Mm -hmm. But I don't feel that way about fighting games at all, like whatsoever. Fair enough. Then I like the numbers on that one is pretty big. Now once. Mortal Kombat 11 or whatever comes out <laughs> is probably gonna drop. <laughs> and I, mean, I wouldn't be surprised if there was an announcement for MK11 afterwards. And after that's that, probably gonna be well, <laughs> one of those two. We just decided to skip 11 and go to 12. Mm. Oh damn! Wait, didn't they do that with like uh, nine or ten or something like that? Yeah, it's nine. Well, Mortal Kombat and then Mortal Kombat X, and now they're probably. You guys, that's going to be like Mortal Kombat random symbol or whatever. <laughs> question random. <laughs> okay, it'll be a... yeah. Mortal Kombat question. Do I, do I smell a Mortal Kombat fighters in the future? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, uh, I, know, well, I know. I'm awful. If you think of it, Injustice 2 is kind of like a crossover game already. Maybe it kind uh, of like, is. yeah. I mean, they just Hell like old boy Ninja Turtles. Um... I, I know, like, like I've mentioned this before, and Jazz is in all that into the idea. But I, I wouldn't be surprised if it, they made like a another, if Netherrealm took another shot at like MK versus DC again. If they, if they were, if they were willing to allow uh dc characters to get fucking murdered then yeah that's never gonna happen <laughs> but it's never nobody wants to see batman get his spine ripped out so in it's fairness, not gonna fucking in fairness 
we do have a Batman that killed right now in the movies. Yeah, now he's gonna be out. <laughs> that's because the guy, that's because the actor hates the role now because they fucked it up. Still gonna be out. <laughs> you wanna see Batman's spine being ripped out? I mean, we wanna see it, but it's not the people who made Batman. They don't wanna see it. No. Well, well, you know, we, we got to break the material apart and, you know, see what's inside. And then we put it back together. What is Batman? <laughs> Let's start from the spine. <laughs> Bane, come help us. Yeah. Until NRS comes up with a new game that no one's ever thought of. I don't see much yeah, interest. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be. I, I feel like that's not going to happen anytime soon. The only people that would even be playing Mortal Kombat are people who just love Mortal Kombat. Mm hmm. Because Mortal Kombat has been around so long, somewhat like Call of Duty and Madden and FIFA and all that shit, they bring in a wave of quote unquote, not gamers like us, but people who play Mortal Kombat. Like, you're not a gamer, you're a Mortal Kombat player. You're not a gamer, you're a Madden player. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that I that type of casual. Today? <laughs> yeah, casual, pretty much. Thank you, Jazz. Mm hmm. <laughs> If only had someone had invented that term earlier. Oh, what I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> First time uh, here, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, trademark it. <laughs> nah, too late. Sorry, God. Fuck, <laughs> Fuck you, Google. <laughs> yeah, so beautiful. Oh, uh, already giving us the Liza mods, too. Oh, boy. <laughs> Fat stuff is just distracted by the mods now. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> well. I'm just just trying how awkward it looks, Leo. <laughs> <laughs> you saw that too. I was like, what is this? <laughs> Some of those do look weird as shit. <laughs> oh. Well, 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 we got next in the little. Well, uh... Cause I, I was I was gonna bring him up, but I wasn't I was gonna ask you guys: should we do it as like a big group, or should we do it like uh, individually? What are you on about, homie? Oh, uh, the anime fighters? Yeah. Because like the last three are all of them, they're all Arxis. So I was wondering, should we do them all as a big group, or should we do them like, uh, like individual? It's hard to say. I mean, it's better to just do them individual. Mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah. That way. Right. At least that way, if we do them individually, right? At least we won't have people talking over each other, and I feel like that kills what? podcast more than anything. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'll Come slap on. you right in your penis. Don't tempt me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's a... up guilty here, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's and, the fuck I that, thought. I think that's the demographic for Guilty Gear players. <laughs> people, people that slap each other in the penis? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, you have to, you have to I never knew. Guilty Gear, it takes up a specific type of person to like Guilty Gear for its style. I don't slap people mm. in the penis. <laughs> uh, not that we know of. <laughs> <laughs> I told you to take down those cameras. <laughs> what you do in your time is your thing, man. <laughs> just don't try, try to stop it, okay? I don't know how we got <laughs> I'm not here to judge you. I'm just here to make fun of you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so I guess uh, Guilty Gear Rev 2. Um, I mean, I mean I'm, I'm not slightly really surprised. surprised it's in. Not entirely for me. Not, yeah, not entirely, but I am slightly surprised it's in. Because I don't remember seeing Rev 1 ever, like, um, being the focus in that Evo, like, i never seen anyone excited. <laughs> like, excitement I mean, is one thing, but it, what, uh, yeah. wasn't it, like, uh, one of the big ones in last year's Evo? Uh, or am I thinking the year before? I think the year before it was. Yeah. Last year it was it was okay. It didn't have like a I, bad receiving, but it wasn't huge. Yeah. Jesus Christ, everything was so everything was fucking muted. Yeah, because like in 2016, I do remember like one of the hype moments was like that one guy that freaking ran off thinking he won the the entire match when he run to, just won the first round. Oh my god. Like, oh, and then I, he ended up losing that round. I saw that. Uh, yeah, I think he did. <laughs> but it was like uh, I I remember that was one of the hype moments for Evo that year. Mm -hmm. Man, that felt like three matches of this. It, well, it, it, it really did. That's <laughs> why I wasn't hilarious. surprised when like the guy ran up. I was just like, oh man, that was close. Oh shit, the game's still going. <laughs> well, and then he went and he almost mm. fucked it. Still top almost. Mm. Yeah, he's still up there, bro. <laughs> Imagine getting famous by by that 
for the stupidest thing. <laughs> I mean, welcome Imagine to the internet. The meme. I mean, there's a meme a day, pretty much. So, not <laughs> surprised. <laughs> Congratulations, Jess. You've just been memed. Yay! I think. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's one of the bad ones. But aren't we still supposed to have like an extra character coming to uh, Guilty Gear? Is really? Uh, I thought it was uh, Blaze Blue. Was no, no, no there was a, uh, something in the Famatsu uh, showing some character we've never seen in the Guilty Gear series before. We don't know if it's like a story ad or what. It was just, you know, it was Japanese. It wasn't tra translated in the time, and I <clears throat> lost track of it. But it was definitely a character you've never seen before. There was a butterfly in my view, and all of a sudden I just went chasing after it. Yeah, I don't think Guilty Gear has butterflies, but yeah, we can, <laughs> we can go with that. It would be interesting, though. <laughs> They probably would try See what to happens. do like a fucking Run Disney three. looking. Because we can't run out of names. I would not be surprised if they actually did a Rev 3. <laughs> Wait, what color would it be if it was Rev 3? They really went yellow, green, red? Would it be blue? Blaze blue. Oh. Oh, shit. Uh, no. Segway. Uh, <laughs> Speaking of blaze blue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I, uh, before we get into that, I'm surprised that you guys are surprised that uh, Rev 2 is doing so well. I'm not well surprised that it's doing so Okay, yeah. They added an <laughs> like, Viking character. I, like, I thought it was going to be like one of those like side tournament games. Exactly. Yeah. Like, as far as anime fighters go, like, yeah, two, yeah, that's normal, uh, kind of, for Evo. Yeah, you know, days. Evo is not, it's not, like, known for that. Yeah. Even though, technically, Street Fighter is kind of a anime fighter, in a sense, but people don't consider it an yeah. anime fighter. They, they go with, oh, it doesn't have air dashes, so, but, you know, some characters actually so have an air you. dash in that game. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. I don't care. That's an anime fighter to me. So yeah, you, let's let's go with four anime fighters instead of three. It's like, it, look, mm. I can't shoot fireballs out of my hands. It's an anime fighter. <laughs> Hit him with that hashtag. Not my anime fighter. <laughs> <laughs> you could probably do that for no. Smash Brothers too, though. Probably. Oh no, no. Because no. Mario shoots fireballs. No. So he's an anime oh. character. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh no, that's the only reason, really, is that <laughs> there's three anime fighters. If you four, if you count Street Fighter, but three, and that's weird. And then, well, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure if Marvel vs. Capcom Not So Infinite was a uh, was a thing, and it what did is well, that? come up with a better burn. It <laughs> but <laughs> it pretty sure. I'm pretty sure everybody was expecting that to be in there. Just like, hey, we don't want this game. This game sucks. All right, well, we'll just pick up one of the old ones. Everyone wins. Hooray! You know, I bet you that game was designed in one of Capcom's helicopters. I would what? not be surprised. <laughs> oh, man, you don't get that reference. You know, every <laughs> helicopter Capcom may, uh, makes explodes in their games. Crashes. Oh shit, never thought of that. <laughs> no, it's like when I thought about it, I was like, oh, that's what you meant. <laughs> <laughs> like, even though uh, what was it, Resident Evil 5? Yeah, that, uh, that helicopter crashed too. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Every damn helicopter. <laughs> Someone has a phobia of helicopters in Capcom. <laughs> oh yeah, they just keep them blowing up. So, okay, so then Blaze Blue, which we were not getting into, but okay. I kind of want to save it for last, since we're going to talk about it uh, later anyway. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, well, um, well let, we let don't me, know anything about it, it's just speculation. Uh, let mm -hmm. me ask this. Uh, do we want to get into the Marvel part, or do we want to get into the DBFZ? Mm. Uh, let's just say what we have about Marvel, I guess, because that way we can go from the uh, Dragon Ball stuff to the reviews. Well, I'm okay, just gonna, so... before anyone says it, it looks like shit. <laughs> <laughs> Game's already <Okay>. out. <laughs> so I was oh, gonna make back. a super rallying cry thing about Marvel Infinite, about like how it can still live and all this other bullshit and whatnot. Even though I don't even particularly love the game, and then I heard about the October thing, <laughs> What's the and October that's thing? just kind of they're, they're ending uh, Infinite on October. All support, yeah. all that, is that other true? It's just gone. Like you can look it up. It's it's up there. It's in That's multiple sources. <laughs> like it's on multiple sources, basically. I, uh, I <laughs> mean... I'm, I'm confused by that. Are they gonna like just shut down the servers for? No, I don't think they're gonna shut down the servers. But I think any support after that fact 
is done. I mean, shit, oh, man. They're just that cutting it off like a diseased arm. <laughs> and, I mean, like, it technically when I heard is. That, Really, when I heard that, I, I was like, okay, there's no point in me even saying anything. <laughs> they don't but, even care anymore. <laughs> the, the numbers for it are not bad, you know, versus the PC. Uh, you, you could ignore that part because that's only one part of the community, but the numbers are still okay. The issue is the publicity it received, mm -hmm. and that's what caused it to not show up in the Evo lineup. And it, you know, it just kept smiling. You know how the internet is. It's just memeing and then people complaining. Yeah. It just happened. The game yeah, but, itself is fun, but the problem, which everyone says, and it's true, is the roster and the look. You know, no matter how much you fix up the look, the roster is still kind of underwhelming. Especially with no X-Men characters. Like, that's... Yeah. I mean, hopefully and that gets fixed by more. that fucking uh, buyout uh, Disney's doing. I know it's like a whole dystopian warning kind of thing, but at the same time it's just like, yeah, but we get X-Men back. But see, that's the thing. If they're done by October, Disney can't do anything about X Men until next year, because no, I, they can't sign the like, deal until yeah. next year. Well, I'm, look, don't get me wrong. Oh, I know, no, no. I know that like the whole Death Nail thing is basically fucking happening by October. All I'm saying is that it's just like there might be a chance where we get like another Marvel, and this one will have X Men characters this time around. Which mm. is fine, but I, I kind of want the them deal, to yeah. do something here first. <laughs> I don't see another Marvel coming in many years. Is it really, I don't either. Yeah, I'll be right. Disney don't back. play with that shit. <laughs> okay, I mean, right. like, fucking, you guys get what you asked for. <laughs> Disney don't play with that shit, so I don't, I don't see Marvel versus Capcom coming in the near future. Marvel vs. Capcom <laughs> will include yeah. will replace the uh, X Men characters with Disney characters. <laughs> Dark will get Goofy in there. We need Goofy. Yeah, we need the poo. Hey, hey! Think about the Mrs. Incredible mods you can get. Dude, I just want Donald to let me down one more time in another game. <laughs> <laughs> like Donald, God damn it! Good dying. <laughs> that game has such a slippery slope. I'm so sad about that. I mean. I like I I mean the Street Fighter Marvel, Five baby. launch didn't help it I'm sure like that's why oh we, no yeah but it's just like at least Five managed to fucking pull uh pull a save at the last minute the mm -hmm. the, the negativity surrounding uh, Infinite was like so bad that fucking um it, it just couldn't be saved and since it's Disney like being super protective of their brand. Of course, they were just gonna be like, you know what? Let's just everyone's just kind of like, you know what? Let's just fucking stop. Let's just before we waste any more any more any more money. And then yeah, you have people's much. attention being taken by Dragon Ball Fighters, which you know, it what was it? Uh, e three. Mm. <sighs> okay, so you know they're showcasing uh, Marvel vs. Cap, and we kind of basically knew what it looked like, but you know we finally got to see Chung Lee fixed up and stuff. Still, everyone looks like a like a toy figure in that game. And then, mm. you know, we get the leak for Dragon Ball Fighters. We know nothing of that. And then we get the video and everything. That mm. blew it up. Like, this this is what started everyone talking about. Oh, this is going to replace Marvel and all that. It mm. kind of did. Yeah. Due to the infinite popularity. And, mm. you know, uh, what, what was I going to say? I just lost it. But, yeah. I think I just lost everything when I was about to say. Holy crap. Do Doesn't you remember happen. who you are? No, hey, you I got the loss. We'll take it from here. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so like, I mean, here's hoping that like the next Marvel actually uh, can like it doesn't take too long for the next Marvel to show up. Uh, I really doubt it though. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, cause uh, Marvel is great at the at movies. On others, on other fronts, like their animated shows and all that, eh, not so much. I kind of like their Iron Man anime. It wasn't that bad. Yeah, that was actually pretty good. There's like, uh, so I'm not saying that everything's bad. I'm just saying that like, it's not as, um, how can I put this? The quality control isn't as good outside the movies. That's what I feel. Hmm. It's like they turned the no. game into a movie. Like, as far as their gaming division goes, Disney is not very forgiving. In the slightest. <laughs> I mean, you saw, remember what the, um, the little toys they had, uh, Disney Infinity or whatever? Yeah. Dude, the second that sales dropped on that, they cut it. <laughs> Literally. Well, cause like, so... I will say though, there is just like, there isn't a chance for like the next Marvel to come sooner because like, no! since it's basically, since it's confirmed that Marvel, that Infinite is dead 
it's gonna take a while before people start going like, okay, when's Marvel? When's Marvel? And then fucking like they start pushing uh, Disney to come up with a new one. Mm, I don't think they'll be asking for that anytime soon. I think you're giving it way too much credit on that. Look, the man's just have well, I, here. like, like I, I'm, I'm, no I'm, X Men. No X Men. You don't have a Marvel game. And you won't get them till next year at the very least, and that's not even. I, I'm more. Div- I'm more expecting it to happen. Like not from the kindness of Marvel, because let's face it, it's Disney, so Nazis. Um, but I'm saying this more uh, like uh, based off the expectation of like how greedy fighting game players are. I still think with fighters being out, that's gonna be a long ass time. Uh, who knows how like fucking and... well? Let's yeah, let's segue that for to fighters because fucking apparently we just said fuck Blaze Blue. <laughs> well, I said save it for last. So. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, well um, cause. Like the the way fighters is, it's kind of like uh, it. I guess it's already peaked. Well, it hasn't peaked yet until the DLC is out. I then guess because well, because uh, there are a lot of like uh, professionals that are like that aren't gonna end up picking it up. And see, I was looking into those professionals you're talking about. Honestly, those are ones that probably wouldn't have stayed to begin with. <laughs> like infiltration and all that stuff, they weren't gonna stay there. They were never gonna stay. It's not their kind of game. They got in there because of the hype. They're they're not those kind of car- uh, uh, players. Mm-hmm. Yeah, true that. No, they're not. They're Street Fighter players. They're not <laughs> fighting game here. players. <laughs> well, <Whoa>, Eddie's. <laughs> that makes sense. I mean, I've been here for a while. I'm just trying to fix the roboting everybody has going on. Yeah, we were roboting bad on the stream. I don't know why. Okay. Yeah, it hurts. It hurts a lot. I think it's we were talking about Marvel. (laughs) (laughs) Disney was like, shut it down. (laughs) We're being invaded by Disney. Quick, shut it all down. (laughs) 2018 Skynet's finally raining its vengeance upon us. (laughs) The lack thereof. Holy shit. Oh my god. Just try to get it to solve an impossible question. It'll be good. With a Mickey Mouse mask. I can oh I can I can add on to the whole Disney like being very very strict about things not working. Since the uh, Disney owns Star Wars and Star Wars Battlefront Ooh. 2 comes out and it's been an absolute shit show. Uh oh, after the sense. first one, the first one it's just like all right, we'll give you another chance and then Battlefront 2 came out and the debauchery that came from that. Disney's just like we finna make somebody else do this shit because y- mm-hmm. y'all suck. Y'all I are mean, garbage. hell, at least they got another chance, which would be a positive thing for fucking the next Marvel. Which technically even Capcom's had another chance cuz Ultimate Marvel vs Capcom 3, despite the hyping around it, did not sell well. It, despite yeah. what you may it think, really? it did not. It, it didn't. It, it grew well. I don't think it, it sold grew well. over time. Okay. Yeah, but you it, know, companies don't care about the growth over time. They care yeah. about that. Yo, like hype, son, buy our game now. You know, that's not the only mistake, though. Like Marvel vs. Capcom Three was also a huge mistake. I mean, like it came. What was the the spectating mode was just but cards just hitting each other. <laughs> Hey, don't do that. That's what that shit was hype. The, the cards is going back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then I, 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 that was a long time ago. Then at some point they announced that you know they were eventually going to get a, a download to you know uh, an update to have spectating mode and you know they're going to fix a bunch of stuff. Then it became a paid disc or like DLC or whatever yeah. it was, forty bucks. I'm like, I don't want to buy the game again just so I can spectate. <laughs> Never they, mind the fact that Phoenix, right, and all these other characters are in it. Well. I just, it's, it's, I'm, I'm just paying for spectation. Mm. Then they add, they start adding characters that they made no sense. I know Marvel versus Captain makes no sense in the first place, but having a, a Phoenix Wright, a, a, you know, th- cut you up with papers like that. That shit was actually pretty <laughs> hype though, steal. like because like I fought a bunch of dudes that would you were using them. Mainly for troll teams, though. <laughs> nah, this guy was like, he was a big fucking. Unless you're Phoenix talking Wright about fan. like Lythero. Who is a legit uh, Phoenix Wright player? I can't agree with you on that. <laughs> no, nah, like fuck it. I knew I knew some guys that were like way into the Phoenix Wright character. That they were like like legit fucking good with them. Yeah, I can't agree on that because the only real legit one I could literally agree with you with is like Thero. Like he was legit making guides and shit on Phoenix Wright and whatnot. 
like everyone else, I, I cannot agree with you on that. <laughs> I think I just stuck with Blaze Blue after you know Marvel disappointed me. <laughs> <laughs> Back then, what was it? Was it Calamity Trigger? I don't remember what it was. Yeah, it was Calamity Trigger. Was... Oh boy. There were so lot. many Blaze Blues. Like, I know, it's just like, like come buy our one or two characters. <laughs> Next year is another Blaze Blue. What do you think? <laughs> it really was. It was really bad. <laughs> <laughs> I like how it's just like, oh, here's like, saw like a whole terrible list of like uh, shit with Blaze Blue, but Marvel was so bad. I mean, it really was. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? I had to think about it. The thing about Blaze Blue is just that nobody nobody ever really knows if Blaze Blue is good or bad because mm -hmm. it's not that popular. Mm -hmm. yeah, beginning so it falls under Gravevine, just like under Night and Birth and other games like that. It and even just then, it falls like... under the radar so nobody knows. But Marvel? Fucking Marvel? When's Marvel? Come on now, that shit's been a thing for years. It's just like, so even it's like then, when fucking... we finally get that uh... Marvel, we get that Marvel, and then it's like, what? infinite was and it's like but even right, then like you still have shit like with the people that know it's just like well, i don't want to get the newest blaze blue because i i don't i'm just gonna have to wait for i'm just gonna wait a year before like the new one comes out with like that one extra character that too mm -hmm. always trying yeah, to change um, up the characters too yeah they try to change them up a bit a good bit to to be honest yeah but I, um, I lost my main three times really <laughs> sticking with those games. <laughs> when you told me what your main was, I was like, mm. in the beginning, <laughs> it, I had no choice but to play Noel. And then it became Mew 12. And then, wait, wait, what happened there? It was Mew 12 for a while. And then they just must hurt Steiner combos. Like and then I end up getting my. And then it was brain dead from there. Mm -hmm. So, Dragon Ball. <laughs> Oh yeah, we gotta move to Dragon the Ball. The hype is real! No. <laughs> <laughs> Before a fucking Phantom goes on another rant. <laughs> I mean, you, it's hard to rant on Dragon Ball. I mean... I mean because especially when you don't own it. <laughs> well, I own it. I bought the hell out of it. Not me. I don't well, own it. I'll oh, pass, I passed up on it. Well, mm -hmm. what we should do is just, you know, get a very large uh, crate and uh, stuff you in there and then bury it. <laughs> Second, whoa. That's a little bit extreme, don't you think? Nope. No, we'll write your name on it so you know if someone finds it, they'll know who you are. I, I mean, I, I, also, also, <laughs> if, if you're if you if you're good, Ven, uh, Eddie, we will put in some air holes. <laughs> you might, you might, you're good. <laughs> we create that scene in Kill Bill where that Can't chick you? Would, you know punches through. Like Can you guys just like call me mean names to just keep it at that? Nope, like, we've been like past that? that point ever since the game came out. I'm we, sorry. <laughs> we are broken humans. Oh. We don't understand mercy. Ever oh, whatever. The announcement <laughs> of the game, my mind exploded. Uh, like, fuck it. I remember, like, I was like telling these guys that, like, when the game was coming out, that it's like, Arx is, uh, you know, we'll see about, like, the fucking business decisions. But they got like a, the the right fucking company to make a, an action oriented fucking Dragon Ball game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they did because they got the same creators of a uh, Guilty Gear, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's it's like uh, apparently it that it's uh, what's it called Arxis got divided into two teams. Uh, there was the blue team which did Dragon Ball or red team whichever, and then the other team did Blaze Blue. Mm -hmm. The only Arxis is true. like making hella money, aren't they? They are now. They even opened oh, yeah. up uh, a U.S. branch. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, Which... yeah. They're. I mean, like, obviously, like the reason why is because of Dragon Ball. Yeah, because Dragon Ball equals hype. Hype and equals it. sales. Sales equal profit. Profit equals a lot of things, actually. And all these yeah. years they've been making these fighting games. You know, they put love into those games. They they put a lot of work. They they make them good. I mean, for example. They made good money with Blaze Blue story mode, you know, and then from there, Guilty Gear got a story mode, and you know, it was that bad. It was actually good. It was Guilty pretty Gear's much always an had anime. a story mode, uh, didn't it? No, no, not in arcade form. Yeah, it's mainly been arcade form. That's how that's how, how fighting games always been. But like, suddenly Guilty Gear uh, was it sign? It, you know, it, it got a story mode, and it was pure anime. You just watched it. Ooh. Mm. It, it, it wasn't bad because it was actually interesting. Was okay. really ah, I don't know, man, because it's anime. just like, I, when, I, when I started the story mode in Guilty Gear, when I, I was uh, hoping to actually get to play, when I fucking saw that it was just the anime, I was just like, well, shit, there's like fucking 
God knows how many years of story behind this shit. I'm not gonna fucking get caught up, and I never played again. Which is fine for you. Wait, it, like it comes. This. It comes with like a book that like like lets you read. I don't all have like to the, read before I fucking read. You have, you have to read it anyway. You have no choice. You're gonna go to Wikipedia. <laughs> well, that's or you're stupid. Going no, but see, here's the thing, though. No, with but... Arxis, uh, no, nigga, you gotta listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> la, 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 la. It's like it's like. You can tell they put love and care into these games because they took Persona 4, a game that is an RPG, made it into a fighting game, and did successful with it. Mm -hmm. And still they put in a story mode. And still put in a story mode that was at Twice. least somewhat decent and added, <laughs> and added characters and shit into it. And they made they made their own niche out of an RPG game, son. You can't mm -hmm. beat some results like that. I, I never mm -hmm. said that they don't put work into that, their fucking games. That... That and they took a game, they made a fighting game out of an RPG that nobody asked for a fighting game for. That was a surprise, yeah. It was very surprising. It was yeah, almost like, as it was as surprising as you know, having uh, was it Persona 3 dancing? That was a little yeah. bit of a surprise, you know. I'm suddenly, the guy is dead now, he's back dancing, like, but yeah, like they're not gonna have a story for that one. <laughs> No, and you know, and oh, you know how they, it? you know how they do that. They is, they spoilers. always said it. No, no, no. They always said it. You did spoil the shit out of Persona. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, I'm glad. I'm if glad you haven't played Persona the Three by now, then there's something wrong with you. Which means there's something yeah, wrong with at me. At this no. point, <laughs> but legit, all BS aside, like they do with all the other spinoff games, they're gonna set it in some arbitrary time during the story that didn't happen in the RPG, and it's just like, oh yeah, by the way, this happened. Those two mm. weeks when you weren't doing shit, this is when this happened. <laughs> well, I mean, kind of Dragon Ball Fighters does the exact same thing. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, I have to respect the canon, even though this is not canon. I think Persona Four Arena was technically canon. I mean, the movies did that, too. Yeah, I mean, technically, it technically it's canon. <laughs> Dude, that's like 16 the, 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 technicals. No, no, hold on, but the Dragon Ball movies are not canon except for the... Battle what was it? The Battle of Gods and Resurrection F. Yeah. And then that yeah, got converted to an canon. anime. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, it doesn't really matter if it's canon or not. The thing about this game is I always thought, based on, like, you know, the interviews with uh, the chick, you know, the producer for this game. I forgot yeah, her name already. Chick. Did you, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know what you're talking they about. They made a like Virgin Mary shrine of her for whatever reason. <laughs> <laughs> they really did. Anyway, like uh, the thing is, you know, they said they would go with source material. They want to like go with source material, everything from the manga, and that's what they did with this game. The thing is, you know, we we have like some data in there. For, oh yeah, we got to talk about like you know the, the the leaks from the data mine and all that stuff, but. Mm -hmm. You know, you see data for like the avatars from you know from the different storylines of uh, Dragon Ball, you know, the movies, eh, the GT, whatever, everything. Wait, I, for I forgot. Weren't we supposed to be talking about like uh, Dragon Ball and Evo? That's. I mean, it still kind of falls under that. I guess it's just like Dragon Ball. Okay. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I don't even know where I'm going with this. It's just it's getting so much fame because you know people want. He just wants the attention. There. Yeah, I want the attention, of course. Well, <laughs> shit, what's the point of a fucking podcast if you don't want the attention? Yeah, go, okay, I mean, good, but okay, good. You, <laughs> you take it from here. I'm sure you know where I'm going with this. I'm sure you can, like, end it up to Evo or whatever it was. Uh, rubber Ducks. Please. Okay, yes, they're going to add Rubber Ducks, and that will be the end of the game. That's the DLC pass. <laughs> and then they'll know the way. Okay. Uganda Goku. Oh, my God. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past the internet. No, 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 no. Uganda and Goku Black. <laughs> the ultimate form. The <laughs> ultimate form. Oh shit. Uh, well, I mean, uh, I guess might as well just get into the reviews because uh, fuck if I can remember what the hell what our original point was. I mean, we were talking about Evo, but <clears throat> it, I mean, we could just talk about reviewing the game anyway and get yeah. that done, and then we move on to Blaze Blue. I'm sure like half of you guys mm -hmm. are done with it anyway. <laughs> I, yeah. I never is, owned either. I have no I have no chips on the table here. Then go, well, here's the thing. go buy some uh, chips, man. <laughs> bitch, I need a job first, you fucks. Yeah, I must say we kinda said that in the very beginning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, whatever. Well go, go go ask somebody from I don't know, just do whatever you can in, in your power. Get your hands on what, it. What Phantom is telling you is go out on the street, suck a dick for money. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. Not that kind of job. <laughs> Hold on, I know you can slap them. You might as well just suck them. <laughs> You're halfway there. <laughs> just slap a dick for 60 bucks. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> the, the more ridiculous, the more higher the price. <laughs> I'll cry if you give me the 60 up front. <laughs> <laughs> and then he says, bend over. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so, like, uh, what would you guys rate it? We'll go Phantom, because he's almost done. Jazz. We'll skip Eddie. And then I'll uh, Dragon Ball. Oh. I'll go with... 8.5 out of 10 due to the, the weird ass menu because wow that's the worst menu i've ever encountered in my life the ui oh, the just makes me want to cry <laughs> first world menus I, nice. yeah come on i mean first you know you have to launch it and you you couldn't figure out how to make a ring match you didn't know it was a ring match to play with friends you didn't the the lobby system is just a mess i mean what was it called? Like you go to have to go to East Coast or something, then you choose ring match lobby first. It's just named weird. Like, what's mm -hmm. the point? It is, it's it's weird just this system. long message, and then you can't save where you want to go. You're added to auto lobby. It was a mess. I'm sure everybody knows how to get to where they want now, but still, it's a pain. I know, but they know their way. You you go into training mode. They sent you way. back to the lobby. Let's <laughs> get out. You had to spit on them first. <laughs> <laughs> No, no. I would give it an 8. Nice. And the reason for that is because the story mode didn't really grab me. Oh yeah, the clones. Oh man, <laughs> fuck those clones, man. You didn't pay the 60 up front. <laughs> if, if that game's story was about like 60 hours long or something, 50 hours of it would be fighting clones. And 10 of hours would be the good stuff. The story parts and the interactions. Exactly. I don't remember how long it was, but you know. That's my example. It wasn't mm -hmm. 60. <laughs> yeah, I think it was like 30 maybe. Yeah, who knows? Mm -hmm. Who else um... wants to fuck Android 21? Hmm. Do you even have to ask? I everybody on my Twitter feed. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bear shit Good point. in the woods. <laughs> I mean, as soon as people saw that, that the pink skin chick... Boy, no, was my feet flooded in images, fan art, oh my god, the things I was I mostly saw. confused at first. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this. And he was just like, what's happening down there? So like, if she's no. much, can that mean she's like, gum as well? That's what I thought. No, no, I mean, and look, after my boner subsided, right? <laughs> After it subsided, I was lost in translation because holy shit, I'm like Android 21. Okay, normal, hot as shit, right? Majin. Okay, first off, how did you get Majin out of an Android? My dick's still hard. Why do you get Majin out of an Android, right? How did how did you make that happen? DNA. I guess. I, I don't know. Technically, don't that's know. what what happened. That's what's said in the story. Just, you know, take the DNA of everybody. You know, just, just basically what happened with uh, Cell, but except... Just for the record, story. I haven't played the story mode yet. Well, you know, what? that's... Well, I mean, like, like it's, I haven't <laughs> played the fault. story mode, but I figured that's what was going to happen. So I'm not surprised. How do I know more about the story than you do? Because I had a job, Eddie! Oh damn! Rub it in deep, yeah, huh? He, went in there. <laughs> <laughs> he just man, went in there and did it. <laughs> that man rubbed salt on the no. wound. <laughs> he didn't even rub salt. He went and stabbed it again. <laughs> or he did it. <laughs> it, it's like it just takes a while, but it doesn't mean I don't fucking go for the throat. <laughs> Jesus, no, man. But we we all can say even if you didn't play it, the game is pretty damn good. Mm -hmm. Yep. Especially yep. if it's. Everyone seems to be enjoying it. Nice. Oh so yeah, <laughs> except for Eddie. Well, I mean, I'm I'm good with the games I got right now. I'm yeah. sure you enjoy it. <laughs> if you bothered to get it, I'm sure you would enjoy it. Even if you don't like fighting games, even if you are a piece of shit, you enjoy it. 
Just have to slide that shit in your <laughs> I couldn't let it go. <laughs> no, nobody in the stream knows what's going on, but we'll, uh, we'll keep that a little on the side for us. Just us. for us. Just like, like, Jesus Christ, like, even the special guest has to roast this man. Oh, <laughs> to be fair, this is uh, I am still recording this. <laughs> I'm still streaming. This I know. Come on. Like, it, it's all good. Right up, it's just like, this moment is captured in time. <laughs> so for uh, the, Monster Hunter Android's World, man. I really wanted to make it so that Moopsie goes first for the review, since he's the one who's played the Monster Hunters, like, before this. Oh, and damn then, Monster like, Hunters. everybody else go for, like, a new perspective on it. Yeah, let's go with that. Um, you know, I haven't played Monster Hunter in many years since i didn't own the consoles i mean you know they go from ps2 3 to nintendo consoles i'm like okay i'm gone yeah <laughs> and i love how i haven't given my review of dragon ball yet well oh, nobody cared it. so <laughs> <laughs> oh is that it <laughs> I, I didn't say that <laughs> shut up phantom you're probably agreeing with him <laughs> <laughs> so all right i can see it in your sneaky floor face is yours. <laughs> Just admit that the floor is lava, though. So. You know, I might have to face that that Android has right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, because, like, uh, I would have to give it around an 8.5, because there are a lot of things that I do love about the game. Like, uh, I do love that they went with, like, Guilty Gear engine. It's, it's like, a, basically a modded Guilty Gear engine, so it's like they were able to fucking use the... Uh, <laughs> Android 21. Uh, I mean, like, that's an instant boner right there. But, uh... <laughs> Uh, I, cause like, I, I was gonna say like, I love how they recreate like some of the scenes from the anime, if you have like the right, uh, oh, characters. The cinematics, yeah. yeah, those are fucking amazing. Um, what Oops. else? Uh, I do love, uh, how a lot of like, they don't have as many generic attacks for the characters, which is one thing I do love. But at the same time though, it, it does kind of have like a lot of the movesets feel a little, uh, empty. Mm -hmm. And one, uh, one another thing about it that does kind of uh, disappoint me is uh, how it's just uh, quarter circle inputs. I, do, I don't care for the fact that they don't really have Shoryukens or like ha uh, maybe 16 has half circles, but I'm never going to use the guy. Mm -hmm. um, what's another one? Um, one? Another thing too, I do kind of feel like it. What, uh, another reason why I do take uh, points away is because I have heard some stuff about like how the net code is actually like not the greatest, um, and because I, I fucking just make it whenever I go like oh, to ranked or something, I normally just like make it so that my connection will be like at like just missing one bar at the most. I kind of limit mm -hmm. like the connections I'm gonna fight so to make sure that I do have uh, good uh, fights, but. Mm -hmm. So if if I was to get like the perspective of someone who just goes like I don't care the netcode they're probably gonna have like uh, worse times like because I know Eddie uh, or not Eddie uh, Venom I don't know why I'm mixing you guys up today but uh, Venom those uh, are two totally different people <laughs> I know I don't know why <laughs> it's just like this is basic ass shit <laughs> but like because they're both bitches. Whoa, 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 whoa. You know you're one of those bitches, right? Roast yourself? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Roast yourself, <Josh. laughs> Less Tide Pods. Um... No, no. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like, Venom said that he was having problems with, like, the connections. I think he's basically dropped the game or something. I've seen him play Overwatch more. Um, huh. what's no, an, that's an... a change. Yeah. <laughs> and then that sure tells me what kind of person he is. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you judge him. <laughs> I'll judge him because I know him. Yeah, that just goes, that <laughs> that's totally fine. The person he is. <laughs> uh, but another another thing I would have to dock points for is because of like the the fact that there is no real good rage quit system in the game. That's uh that's also kind of like a, a negative about it. I I haven't fought that many sore losers, but the fact that it's still something that they they can get away with is pretty bad. Um, hmm. definitely see that in ranked. And one of the other things about it is that I do feel like the roster could have been bigger. I see what you mean, but the knee is awesome. It is going to be bigger. The thing is... But it should have been bigger at launch. Base, for a base roster, I don't think this is bad. I'm not going to no. lie. They... No, but because this is like a, a modded engine of, of Guilty Gear, 
and like, th th these are the guys that they like have made uh, multiple versions of the previous uh, Guilty Gear or, or the current Guilty Gear. So it's not like they couldn't put in more because of like uh, engine problems. Um, I I do think that they could have put in, put in some more characters, honestly. Okay, mm. like who? Uh, I mean, hell, put, you you could have put in some of the movie characters that everyone wanted. No, well, that's the thing. Like I said earlier, they're going with source material when they were making the game. I understand they'll add maybe the you know the non-canon characters are from movies into the game as DLC. Because there's a bunch of hidden data showing lots of stuff. If it's only lobby avatar messages, but still, it doesn't. It will not rule out the fact that they're going to add maybe a Broly or um, I don't know Bojack. Who gives a shit? No, nobody likes Bojack, but you know, you know what I mean. No. Bojack's the thing. <laughs> I know you were talking about cinematics. Like, Wait, Bojack Horseman? <laughs> but you're forgetting something. Like, you know how you heard that there might there be a base form Goku and a base form Vegeta. That's you know, all, that's are. also one of the one of my negative points about it. Like, fucking Goku should have been base form. Like, no. basically, what I think that they should have done is Gohan's mechanic should have been Goku's. Yeah. What do you mean? Like, you mean the level, the adult, adult Gohan or teen Gohan? Uh, adult Gohan, the whole level system that he's got. Yeah, I mean, I see where you're coming from, but then you have to give him Kaioken, and Super Bomb is just too much for one character. I don't know, man, because, like, fucking, I think it would, like, if they put their cards right, they could have had, like, a really well done Goku. But because they wanted to put in, like, fucking... How many versions of them are there going to be? Like, four? There's going to be four Gokus, probably. Well, I guess, I'll, I'll be fair and not count Black, because that's technically another guy. So I'm going to be fair and, and not count him. But there's still, like, three versions of Goku is still too many. Well, we're going to have three perfect, you know, normal Gokus eventually. The thing is, what I like... I won't deduct points because I think you're crazy. Is because when they add these two characters... Hold on, hold on. This is the best part of it. When they act these two characters, <laughs> what do you think you. the cinematic is going to be? What do you think it's going to be? Uh, most likely the fucking the the beginning of Goku versus Vegeta's fight. Right now, what happens if you have Nappa in Vegeta's team? What scene would you get as an intro? You probably wouldn't get it though. No, you, I might think you add would that. actually, because it's a very famous meme. I mean, if they're going to add Yamcha's death meme. Why not the over 9,000 one? Not only that, but they gave it to Nappa as well. <laughs> <laughs> they just right. spread into love. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna. That's how it's going to work. Now, as for the ending, I have no idea what's going to happen, but hopefully Vegeta will have a level 3 gorilla thing, and well, I'll be happy. I don't know. There, there, there are some of them where I do think that there will be like a little too much bordering on Pipe Dream, but uh, I, I, like, I, like, I do think that Goku could have been done better. I, I do feel like... Because part of it is, I think that they should have at least allowed some sure you can move uh, movements in there. Then they could have... Oh, no. What do you want this to be in freaking Naruto now? What? He reverted <laughs> back to the whole sure you can movement? Go play, go play Ninja Storm if you want to play Ninja Storm. They don't have those in Ninja Storm. They don't even have a Duke in the Naruto games. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Who invited the filthy casual? <laughs> I mean, technically he's calling you the filthy casual, so... <laughs> <laughs> but it's like fucking... But it's the kid with the helmet calling me a casual. Does it account? <laughs> yes, it does, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I, I would say, though, that... They're not, like, the the biggest gripes, but they are things that do start to stack up after a while. Because I also fucking really hate the auto-combo system. I don't care for it. Um, yeah, and the Z rush, meh. It's it's more of like if you're I mean, if you're dependent on that and you keep getting caught, then you're an idiot. Yeah, it's just it's not enough. Z damage. rush is a Dragon Ball Z thing, though. Well, no, I'm I'm not saying that I hate the Z rush. I'm saying that like you're an idiot if you keep getting caught in it. However, that being said, you do combine the Z rush with the auto combos, it does become a pain in the ass. Does he call it a Z rush because he plays Xenoverse more? Probably yes. Actually, yes. That's he's exactly. Played Xenoverse it. once. <laughs> <laughs> Is he whispering into his microphone because that thing makes him think that he'll be quieter? What are we talking about? <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> We're all talking about Eddie. Oh me? No, not me. 
I'm good. I'm chilling. I think we stayed on. We were on the subject of Dragon Ball a little too much. I mean, we all got our reviews, right? I don't agree with you, Moopsy, on this whole Goku thing, man. Look, Goku. That's what I'm talking about. Can I get the I... opinion of someone who has played the game? Okay, <laughs> oh, I don't agree shit. with you on your Goku thing. <laughs> 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 Fuck off, Jack! <laughs> you asked for it. <laughs> but, no, up. seriously, like, you know, yeah, yeah. But up. seriously, it's like uh, all seriousness, though. All kidding aside, uh, that's my that's my opinions. Suck a dick if you don't like them. Moving on. Okay, okay, hold on, Moopsy. The the only gripe I have with Goku is his sausage-like fingers. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> They're pretty fucking huge. I wasn't even <laughs> thinking about those. <laughs> if you look like you maybe Goku Black, he fits his fingers in his face. They're fucking huge. <laughs> I just, I just don't like the idea of uh, having three of the same character on a team. Like nobody wants. I don't want a base Goku with Super Saiyan Goku with yeah. Super Saiyan Blue Goku, and the same for Vegeta either. Right. That, I don't that, like that. That, that takes that takes away the nuance of it being a Dragon Ball Fighter Z game because it's like it's not it's not Dragon Ball. It's Goku game. Well, Eddie, if you had been <laughs> listening fighters. though, I had been saying that I don't like how there's so many Gokus. If if anything has it worse, it's Xenoverse. There's probably unlimited oh, yeah. Goku's in that game. Yes, oh, but God. that's a game that's not really trying to be like a competitive fighter. So you you don't really have to give a shit. Don't tell that to a Xenoverse fan. <laughs> hey Xenoverse fans, where are y'all at? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I got something to say to you. <laughs> 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 this game has the least amount of Goku's <laughs> or a fighter. Budokai doesn't count. Okay. I, uh, <laughs> right. no, yeah, I understand. Budokai, Budokai had, had <laughs> going Super had Saiyan, that Kaioken, and all that, but that was a completely different game. Mm. And you yeah. know that was a long time ago. Yeah, I mean, like I'm saying, we don't like talk about I, that game I think that like they could have handled Goku better, but again, those are my thoughts. Fucking moving on. Monster okay. Hunter. Monster Hunter. Okay, so who wants to go first? I'm just kidding. Well, you were supposed to go first. <laughs> I know. You about the bet. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think this is like uh, this is a really well done uh, Monster Hunter game. There are. I'm not gonna lie, lie and say that there isn't some stuff missing, but also in comparison, that like what is added in exchange, I I do feel like it's totally worth it because there are some things where there are some things that are missing. Like uh, there's this one thing where it's kind of like the rank above high rank called G rank, and of course it's like you know all the monsters are insane then and all that shit, and. I do miss G rank, and I uh, from what I've seen, I think that like the roster of monsters is a little on the lacking side. But mm. when you get what you when you get, or when you see what you've gotten in exchange for that, I am totally fucking willing to let it go. Like the monster turf wars, that's a new thing. That's something that I really enjoy. The fact that like the map is actually just like one giant zone. It's a, it's a giant sandbox in comparison to the other Monster Hunter games where it's just like you have to go to like a specific section of that like small map so you, so you can like travel to the next one. Uh, that's, uh, that's something that they exchanged uh, which I'm just kind of like, okay, I love the new map. Um, the, the cat armors, that's... I forget, I'm trying to remember if there's... Uh, I mean, because, like, they've changed them before. They used to call them Fey Lines, but then they changed them to Palicos. Uh, mm. It's weird. I just, call them, I just call them whatever the hell I feel like. Mm. But, I uh, think that's a generational thing. Maybe. Because, like, I started playing in Monster Hunter 3 when they didn't even have the Fey Lines. He started uh, playing Monster Hunter before it was cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, like, the, the, the Fey Lines, I do feel like they're a lot more useful this time around, too. Uh, a lot of the mo a lot of the new monsters are also like really fucking insane. Like, uh, how far have you gotten, Jess? I'm killing all the dragons. Like, I'm almost at the last one. Well, I'm killing the last one before you get to the, the whatever the thing is. Ah, uh, okay. Cause like, uh, so you fought the what's it called? Like the basil juice or whatever. The basil, basil juice. juice. Yeah. <laughs> I forget how. I don't know how people it's called. Call them, people, people call them beetle juice. That, that's what, what I've been calling them too, honestly. Basil guys. Yeah. Okay. Basil guys. I was like, 
the fuck, Juice? <laughs> <laughs> like, that, like that's yeah. what I, that's what I've been calling him, Beetlejuice, because I'm just kind of like I can't really fucking say his name. I mean, I fought him once, and then I've ran into him a hundred times fighting other monsters, and he's kind of annoying. But <laughs> yeah, but he's like one of those monsters where, like, uh, I do think that he's like one of the one of the better uh, one of the awesome new additions uh, to the game because of like how big of a dick he is. It's just a fun gripe for him. I'm not gonna lie. Dropping little uh, acorns that explode. Yeah. Like, that's cool to me. That's a very cool design and choice. I have a gripe with him being fucking everywhere, though. <laughs> oh, dude. If you hate that guy, wait till the Devil Joe comes out. Like, okay, like with that character, I've seen some things on that. I don't mind him being everywhere because that's kind of the same. Oh, 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 dude. About the, the other one, though, when it flies and shit and it's just everywhere, like, <laughs> Fucking dude. everywhere! I, like, I'm telling you, dude. I, like I swear, I do feel like what what you feel like you know about the Devil Joe is not gonna is not gonna matter as much when like he's actually out. I mean, if he's anything like the older versions, then <laughs> the fucking older versions were aggro as fuck. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. If he's anything like that, I know exactly what I'm getting. <laughs> but, uh, uh, he doesn't fly as much. Too. Yeah, like that's the problem. He flies and he can get anywhere super fast. Like, anywhere you go to for the other monsters, he's just there all of a sudden. And it's just like, that's kind of annoying. <laughs> yeah, they're, like, we'll, we'll just agree that they're both terrible. <laughs> I mean, I don't care about Devil's Joe. I'm talking about the other one. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm saying both. <laughs> but yeah, like, that, I will say that is the most annoying thing to me right now, is that you'll be hunting something, and then he'll just be out of nowhere just there, and he never oh, goes... Away. Yeah, like, I, I've had the same shit with fucking Devil Duel. It's just like, I'm gonna be, like, in some fucking tundra, or I'm gonna be in some fucking desert. I'm gonna be, like, underwater or something. It's just like, hey, check it out. Here's a Devil Joe. It's like, what the fuck are you doing here? Which is, like, <laughs> that's funny and whatnot, but I mean, like, like, I think, was it yesterday, Phantom, when we had, like, three of them? Oh, just, like, uh, fighting I don't know each if you were with me. But I know when I went on my own adventure to kill the Pookie Pookie thing, whatever, so I mm -hmm. can be up to the next level, that motherfucker, whatever it is, Basil Geese, just call was Beetlejuice. Every, everywhere. He would just be anywhere. When I chase this bird around, this guy will come in, crash it in, then the Rathian comes in, and it's all And then the Edgeness came in, too, because, yeah, I was there with you. And they were, like, all there, and that's annoying. <laughs> It's just like it's not even funny anymore because you can't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like honestly, because that's the thing about it too. It's just like it's that fucking tension and all those fucking emotions that come out when during, when you're playing the game, which is why I think it's like so fucking great. Um, hmm. Like like it, I and and if the content, the way that they release the content is gonna be anything like I've seen throughout like the fucking uh, 3DS ones I've played. Mm. Then it's gonna be awesome because it's gonna be all free. Mm. So it's like, but but it's like, I mean, yeah, because like, they've basically said it's gonna be free. Yeah, so it's just like I can't wait because there's gonna be there's one of them. Let me, uh, you might know which one this is. Uh, let, me, let me pull out a picture. I don't want to see that ugly thing. <laughs> <laughs> Get prepared before the podcast, man. Uh, I should, but fuck you. <laughs> but, uh, that guy. I can't wait till they put him in the Brokidios. I think I saw something similar to him before. <laughs> yeah, like like, like he's like my one of my fucking favorite monsters. Uh, the the way that his move set is, I basically compare him to Terry Bogart. Hmm. So it's just like I can't wait for it. like that guy. Uh, my brother, I know he's hyped for like this one called the Zenogre. I I I can't wait to see how like they fucking react to like the other monsters in the game. So it's like and for me, I'd have uh I'd have to give the game a, a nine. The only reason it's not higher is because like some of the social shit is actually pretty retarded. Oh yeah, like joining and shit and whatnot. Like some of the parts of joining, that's like that's okay. It's just like joining, uh, joining on story quest. Like that's pretty bad. Hmm. No, that, it took like, us forever to figure it out. It wasn't the phantom. Oh, yeah. yeah. Figure out how to join each other. That part's that bad. Doesn't make any sense to me. And sometimes, <laughs> and joining on expeditions can also be pretty stupid too. 
Mm. Like if they can fix that, the game will fucking be better in my eyes. But at the at the moment, as is, it's still pretty fucking good. Mm. Yeah, alrighty. Do you want to go next? It's hard to go next because I have only played Monster Hunter World for uh, up to what rank mm. eleven? Twenty minutes. I mean, yeah, I think you're at eleven now. Yeah, I'm. I enjoyed the game, you know, it felt kind of bland trying to, like, farm for these materials, uh, you know, in the low ranks. But then when it went to the high rank, everything just got super interesting. Like, you know, there was more features, there's more uh, types of monsters that do, that interact with the map. And, like, you know, then, you know, the three, the Rathi and the Puki and then whatever, Basil. Just, mm. That just did it for me. Like, oh, I gotta play this more. Like, mm. and now, you know, we get that Street Fighter event. Hmm. Which is tomorrow, right? Or is it yeah. tonight? Tonight, if you have save data from Street Fighter That's 5 right. Arcade Edition. Uh, I think it was. Well, it's supposed to be that. Yeah, it, it starts off later tonight. Mm. Which is and nice. I am so I'm glad I got the, be the beautiful Joe costume. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't really care much for that. I don't feel like working my ass off to get those costumes on Street Fighter 5, but I'm not going to play it. <laughs> Once a week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I'm, I'm too busy with Dragon Ball Fighters. There's just no time for Street Fighter. Like, honestly, with Fighters and Monster Hunter, yeah, Street Fighter's kind of out for me as well. <laughs> I mean, I'm happy to have, uh, you know, a Street Fighter skin in Monster Hunter. That's awesome. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I switch my, like, Dragon Ball between that and Street Fighter. I, I try to balance them. Mm. Mm, I'm just going to stay with one game and... Enjoy the other. Because, you know, I like to play MMOs, but, you know, Monster Hunter kind of beats those MMOs. I like Sandbox. I really mm. do. It's a box full of sand. Yeah, nice. I like playing in those. I'll make a giant castle penis or something. I don't know. <laughs> 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 but isn't sand coarse, rough, and irritating? <laughs> Not if you do it right. <laughs> uh, so, was Ready? that Phantoms for fucking... That was my review. This game is basically a penis castle. Nice. <laughs> penis castle out of out of sandbox. <laughs> Full love. No, I pretty much agree with everybody else. I can't like we're biased. Well, it's my very first Monster Hunter game. The only thing I've ever played were games similar to it or clones. Mm-hmm. And to be able to actually have my hands on, like, the originator, like, the one that makes it all, it makes so much sense. Mm. I mean, but, but it's, what can I say? I have, like, 60-some-odd hours in the game. I have suffered. <laughs> all right. I got, I, I don't think you guys understand. Like, I gave myself a migraine trying to kill uh, Nergigante. Mm, you got yeah, you got the armor side. Yeah, I got the armor. Do you know how many times I've died? Do you know how many times other people have died for me to get that armor? Right. A lot. Like but I the actually, but say the moment, about that. <laughs> the moment of satisfaction that I got after uh, getting that final kill on him to be able to make the full set and just to realize that I'm not even twenty five percent done with the game yet, it is just magnificent. <laughs> It's just bursting with content, bursting with content, and with all the, in hell with the other what what other games are doing with the lack thereof for content. It's like Monster Hunter is just like it's already at five million, hadn't even been out a month yet. Just think mm. of it this way: Monster Hunter doesn't actually, actually yeah, have a Monster Hunter at six, but yeah, they make it million. work. What are you saying, Phantom? Monster Hunter doesn't have a lot of content, but they stretch it out in the you know in the right the, way where it the, feels the, like it's a giant chunk mm. just like it's small but the chunk if you open it it just explodes yes yeah i yeah i'm with you on that it's everywhere and, then, and it's like with with the games that i'm playing now it's just like i feel i feel sad that there's only 24 hours in a day <laughs> because there's just so many things I want to make progress in, and it's just not going to happen some days. Honestly, I can't imagine you having a job. I need a job. <laughs> well, if you have it, if you get a job, then how are you going to spend all your 24 hours on this game? If you can't, I can't. Handle you got a point. I can't. I fucking can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, there he goes again, crying. Hey, <laughs> shut up. I'm passionate. It's called passion. Something you would know nothing of. It's called being a you bitch. fucking peasant. 
<laughs> the guy who has no job calls him a peasant. Yeah, no, right? <laughs> but all in all, Monster Hunter is great. Every second that I've put into the game has just been worth it. Mm -hmm. uh, he Alright, I guess it's my turn. Well, oh, I forgot about you. Yeah, yeah <laughs> a lot of people do. Um, <laughs> That's how he gets him, though. <laughs> exactly. Right in the back. <laughs> um, uh, um, like Moopsie, I'm, I'm going to not go as high as a 9. I'm going to go 8.5. And the reason for it is, and this is mainly just coming from a new person's perspective on Monster Hunter, for the most part. There were two moments, well, two moments now that I've gotten to, where there seems to be a mad difficulty spike, and then it goes down. And it's kind of weird. Now, one of them, uh, we actually got you through one of them, uh, Phantom, really quick, which was the Anginoth. Like, we burned through that, like, quickly. But first time I went through it, the spike for difficulty, like, skyrocketed a little bit, in my opinion. But then as soon as I got past it, everything was so much easier. And that was weird to me. And the second one I've ran into was... Not even Nergigante. It was the the Elder Dragon uh, Tetras, Terrachus, ter whatever the fuck his name is, the Fire Lion Bird thing. Teestra, Teesta, Teestra. Yeah, Tesla. <laughs> the te <laughs> Tesla <laughs> Dragon. <laughs> I haven't gone against him yet, but I did get his footprints, so I am ready to take him down. I'm just working on the other ones. Interesting. The yeah. keys. Him, he has a massive spike as well. And the only reason I know it's easier after him is because a friend of mine has already gotten through it and gotten to the next monster. And the next monster is dead easy. Like, literally, you don't even have to try to kill this monster. It's that easy. So it's like, what the fuck happened? Because <laughs> <laughs> nice. yeah, I'm trying to kill him now. And um, most of the people I'm going with, though, they are random. So that's a probably a big part in itself. But well, um, isn't it based on like you know what type of arm you have, that too. But most of uh, the randoms I've been going with have been going with dragon fire armor, so that uh, they don't get hurt so much. But he has like two one shot attacks, and one's very quick. The other one you can really like if you get hit by it, either you were doing something you weren't supposed to be doing, or you're just stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Guess which one no. I am. <laughs> but like, there's one that's extremely quick, and like. It's it, he can do it after he roars, and that's the one that's like, what, what the fuck? Because <laughs> you can't move when he roars, as we all know. And it's like with that kind of thing, I kind of wonder where this spike came from, and why is it dropping after the spike? Because I, if it's a constant, that's like okay, it's whatever. I've gotten to a certain point where things are getting hard, but when it's not constant, that's weird. That's Other probably, than that, what, it's probably that? because it's a perspective thing. Maybe what you see as a spike may not be a spike for say Well, me. and I thought that too. And then I decided to look online to see if I was the only one. Because I was looking just to see, is it just me? Or is it actually a thing? And I'm not the only one who's thinking these spikes are a thing. Now, most of them go to Nergigante uh, first before they go to the... Um, I'm just going to call him Mr. T. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, most of them say Nergigante is the big spike, other than the Anginoth, and then I I didn't see it. That being said, I um, probably had the right set for it as well as uh, having a pretty good team. But um, yeah, like that one, Mister T and Anginoth are huge spikes, and then it goes down again, and it's kind of weird uh, how they, they spike like that. Now, Nergigante and Mr. T, not so much because they're so close together. But um, the Anginoth and then Mr. T and all that, that's when it's kind of weird, which is the one, one reason why I'm knocking it kind of a point and a half for me. But other than that, like, it's pretty much a fun-ass game. Like, I can't put it down pretty much more than half the time. Yep. <laughs> and um, I do like the crafting system and whatnot. This... This is one thing, because I love Tokiden to death. In fact, like, as far as story goes between Tokiden and this one, I will go that Tokiden is a better story, in my opinion. 
But as far as like getting shit and crafting and whatnot, Monster Hunter kills it by a mile. So like, yeah, like, I would. <laughs> well, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, so like with that, I was just gonna say with that, like this is probably the game I'll be on for like a long ass time. <laughs> Yeah, because what I was gonna say is that it's just like, uh, you know, I'm I'm not surprised that you don't really care for the story because this is like the first time they've tried to really like go a bit more story heavy with like the cinematics and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's, it, and I'm not saying it's it's doing that great a job, but it, like the big oh, the bigger thing also for me is just kind of like they the the story was never like the the main draw for those for me for those kinds of games. Yeah, was, I can kind of tell on that, this game. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, it was like uh, it was always about like what kind of crazy shit I can hunt. Hmm. Which is a big strength that I can't knock it for. It kind of overshadows the story for me in a bit, anyway, to enough to where it doesn't bug me so much. Yeah, he always kind of like uh, what story? All right. <laughs> exactly. Um. So yeah, that's why I probably get it at eight point five. It's just those difficulty spikes are kind of funky especially for a newer player to the game right if, like for a veteran this probably is nothing <laughs> but um for like someone just coming in i think that needs to be addressed somewhat in some way i don't know how but some way <laughs> but that's me nice. on monster hunter all right so i guess that's everyone that's the reviews portion so i guess now we can finally get to blaze blue all right, Blaze Blue is in some Not serious even shit. No. <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you why right. Blaze Blue sucks. <laughs> All right, let me tell you why this is a horrible idea for a game. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, as we probably all have heard, Blaze Blue Cross Tag was in some serious shit after their DLC announcement last month. Way to go, Phantom. Yeah. <laughs> it's all Phantom's fault. <laughs> and we see that I'll blame him and point at him. Spit on him. Hey, but, can't uh, say that. My mains are DLC. Not do way. <laughs> All my mains are DLC. <laughs> Take it but, too casual. Okay. <laughs> so, but then they've recently announced after the Evo stuff and whatnot that the game is not going to be a full price game. So after doing some research on it and whatnot, it seems that they're going with what I like to go as the KI method, where they release the game in a uh, super low price and things get added on as time goes on. And all the DLC characters are going to be $3. So the game I think they said was going to be 30 bucks, I think. I think and, who knows? Yeah. It's somewhere around that area. So like when you really calculate the numbers on that, I mean, it's almost still like paying a full price game. <laughs> Yeah, you just, you know, getting the characters a little later. Yeah. So, I mean, when you when you add it like that aspect, I feel like this is probably a better option for most people. Because, I mean, like, a lot of those characters you're probably not going to play. Let's be honest here. Yeah. I was going to buy the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> and the other big thing that uh, a lot, which is the main thing people were mad about, was that, of course... Uh, the Ruby characters were going to be split. They, they were going to be DLC, but the DLC for both characters is free. You so... can't separate them, man. <laughs> it's only for a little while, I promise. <laughs> no, they'll forget each other. He was like, uh, do we get those two DLC characters on launch? No. Um, <laughs> they come later down the line. <laughs> okay, go, I free. gotta write an angry internet. For Yang. <laughs> I just want Yang, man. Mm -hmm. Yang will probably be the last. No, I won't say the last one. Yeah, after Blake. Be, yeah, she'll be after Blake, but uh, she she'll probably be like the fifth character to come in, uh, probably. If if yeah. I, my if like as far as the DLC goes, Blake will be first. whoever they have announced now will be the next group or whatever, and then it'll be Yang. And then. After that, well, who knows whatever else is coming. Maybe DLC um, packs with, uh, what's it, Kanji Platinum. The, <laughs> they said Trilogy on their uh, Twitter post, but, you know, it's Trinity. Yeah, um, that's what I was thinking of this, too. I was like, what? <laughs> and then uh, the third character was uh, well, well, Ori. Mm -hmm. What are that Unip character? I don't play that game that much, so. Yeah. But, uh, I mean... 
the only real problem with what's happening right now is the way they announced it, in my opinion. Yeah, I think they're they, doing fine. I mean, they're doing better now. It's not Capcom after all. The, well, that's the reason they're looking at this uh, cross-eyed is because of the Capcom thing. <laughs> but if they had just did it like all at once instead of like half here, half there, I don't think we would have been in the situation we're at now. They probably could have asked them what they wanted. Probably. Well, and essentially they give me everything with the game free. Mm. <laughs> I mean, you know, they're making the game a little price. The DLC is not that expensive either. And, you know, there you go. And it's going to last a while. And plus, you can buy those characters separately if you want. Mm. No problem. They fixed the problem. But it's not on launch. Therefore, it is a half game. Therefore, I have reason to be pissed. As, as sad as that is, that is the reasoning a lot of people are now. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like the fuckers that just are going like, like Pepperidge Farm remembers. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> oh man, but no, it, I mean, I would like to equate it similarly to a movie that I liked uh, a bit more as I watched it the second time. That is. And I think Moopsie, you said you liked, which was uh, Justice League. Yeah, you everything which one? got which one? <laughs> there was <laughs> only one. <laughs> you mean the live action one? Okay. Oh, okay. Well, you said which one? I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I was like, there's only the one. Justice League movies. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> um... Like, you hear all this stuff about the Justice League things and everything like that, and everybody kind of skewed it before they even saw it. Um, yes, it had its problems, blah, 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 whatever. But it was still a not-so-bad movie, but it kind of got skewed regardless when it came out. And it's a possibility of this game also having the same kind of thing, even though they basically fix, uh, fix in quotations, <laughs> everything. Which means we won't see it at Evo next year. <laughs> Which means it will die. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll start to get the hashtag wins blaze blue. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, I was thinking with like 20 characters, uh, your character might come in, uh, Eddie. Oh, which one is that? Oh, Manazuki? Yeah. yeah. I, I'm not counting on it. I'm really not. And the main reason that I'm Pessimist. not counting on it. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> now, <laughs> the main oh, on the play. <laughs> the main reason why I don't think Manazuki ain't even be in the game is just because they're basing characters off Persona Four Arena, and it's Arena's art and Arena stages. Hmm. And Manazuki is an Ultimax character, hmm. so I don't. I I have my doubts. But if I was like. Oh, I don't know. Employed? I, you know, I wanted to get the, <laughs> I wanted to get the That's game. That's not where I thought you were going. <laughs> if I were to get the game, I mean, I would get it just out of interest, just to play like the uni the Undernight characters, the Blaze Blue characters, the Guilty Gear characters, because I, you know, don't play those games. What, what Guilty Gear characters? Are there not Guilty Gear characters in the game? No. no. I'm a fuck up. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you know, to refresh your memory, it's Persona, mm -hmm. Blaze Blue, Undernight, and Ruby. Oh wow! So I just fucked around and added one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it would have been awesome if I get the gear characters. Now, where's Guilty Gear? That would be interesting if they added them as the DLC. That would be very weird. But, but they <laughs> should be on launch. Just kidding. I mean, on that one, I, I couldn't... I think that just break the whole could... system of how the game works. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I'm, led, I'm led to doubt it. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Like, that's just how the cookie crumbles if I'm wrong. But I just don't see it happening. I mean, you're, in this case, it's just a salty cracker. Mm. Yeah, I agree. No, and to go towards your point, Phantom, about how it plays... I think I heard from a friend of mine who went to the anime expo thing and played it mm. that uh, it has a similar, somewhat similar, not completely, but somewhat similar button layout to uh, Dragon Ball Fighters. Okay, well, there you go. Easy game. Mm. <laughs> like, not time. like completely like everything's quarter circle forward and whatnot, but you have like your medium heavy uh, and whatever the X thing is. A lot of games seem to be going in that direction. 
Mm-hmm. Ultimax was always in that direction. People uh, Persona love crossovers. Persona was always in that direction. Guilty mm. Gear and... was like in its own weird place because it had the the punch kick and then the two slashes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's its own thing, and it's a you know, Guilty Gear's been now way longer than Persona. Mm-hmm. Damn straight. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's pretty much all I have for that one. Like, is it resolved? Uh, nah. <laughs> not to some people, but they have basically fixed it, in my opinion. I think that, like, they c- if they do one more fuck up, the game's dead. Oh, yeah. I can see that. Yeah, because you saw what happened to fucking Marvel, nigga. God damn. Mm. They fucking it's like off the off the rip like that game was doomed to fail just because of like it's like because those first impressions those first impressions on the characters it's just like yo this looks like shit mm. and uh, it could definitely well go into that path as well because even Tekken went through the same thing like when people was like doing gameplay demos for Tekken and everybody was like yo this looks like shit and I'm like and Harada was just like nigga this ain't even 30% of this shit like, hmm. like I was like because I was like to be fair to that everything looked almost the same except the new stages <laughs> when it first <laughs> yeah I agree and uh mm. Oh, I mean, everything Everything goes through that first impressions thing. And if those first impressions are low, son, got to work hard. <laughs> to get back on top. Yeah, boy. Yeah. And it is pretty damn rare for you to end up in like a Street Fighter V situation where it's just like the launch is bad, but the game actually recovers. Mm-hmm. Like, they, Capcom should be like super happy about that. <laughs> yeah, they really should. Plus, like, the, the, cause I, I know that it was like good sales for, for Arcade Edition and then like the amazing sales for Monster Hunter World. They like gotta be fucking taking a big sigh of relief because they're doing so good. Absolutely. But Capcom has always been doing that. Like, hey, here's the original game. Okay, so there's problems with it. We're going to fix it, but we're going to charge you for it. And for, and the reason, uh, part of the reason why they released an arcade edition was so that they could count it as a brand new game and get rid of those negative reviews. Um, the only thing about that, though, Eddie, is that this edition, for the most part, is free. Yeah, I what? still have my original copy of Street Fighter V, and I still have Season 3. Yeah, what? like, the only thing that you're really charged for is if you get the disc version, it comes with all the seasons from the past. Plus, I think it doesn't come with Sakura or not? Uh, uh no, Sakura... Two weeks. Well, no, yeah, Sa- Sakura, she was, uh, she was on free trial for a week. But she's still available to be purchased with fighter points. <laughs> okay, so regardless basically of that, free. yeah, basically it's free. And if you get the disc version, you get the DLC, uh, two DLC seasons from the uh, past. You get the two DLC seasons, uh, the characters, and you get some costumes. Yeah, yeah, just not season three. Yeah, mm. because everyone's that, at season three right now. That mm. makes sense. <laughs> so yeah, like this is really good for them. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Hmm. But I think that's it for Blaze Blue right now, which means we move on to our next thing. How are y'all's New Year's resolutions going? We're a month in, basically, now. Yep. Have you already given up on them? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I don't yeah. even make them in the first place. <laughs> See, there you go. Phantom's got the idea. Default. <laughs> default. My channel is steadily growing. Yeah, from two viewers to three. Oh my god! <laughs> That's not the channel he was talking about, but hey. <laughs> Damn, Phantom, you are on top with these fucking roasts. Uh, oh, I didn't know I was roasting you. Like, son, like, you are fucking killing me today. <laughs> Don't worry, man. I'm sure you like... haven't you haven't let me make it at all, and I appreciate that. <laughs> Means it's real nigga. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, man. Once you get a job, I'm sure you'll be able to get out and buy a knife so you can bust it out. Damn, <laughs> son. <laughs> <You're welcome>. <laughs> <laughs> These quips, man. With love, Phantom. <laughs> <laughs> nah, uh, I think you beat up on my shit for the most part. I have a, I've actually made a plan for the first time. 
because you know the whole five years of working that I did do, I was doing pretty much for everybody else. Hmm. I don't. What did I you want, do? Oh, nice. uh, I was working in retail for the past five years. I was also in management, but I was mostly take. Uh, most of that money went to taking care of my mom and grandma. Retail is the worst. Oh, no. Sales is the worst. <laughs> sales is probably the worst. Retail, sales, sales is the worst. not so much. Re retail is a little different, but still, it's almost it's down there. there. <laughs> but even then, even even then, like the first part, the first part of the plan is to at least get a job. That's what I'm working on. Mm -hmm. There's also some shit that went down with my previous job that may end up being nice. like legally like giving them legal trouble but you're not there so that's not I can your talk. problem if if i if i not well no this may very well be my problem if uh if what lee told me was true <laughs> right so what if, i'm trying to leave the names out of it mm -hmm. but nice. what what happened was i tried to go back to my old job because it knew i'd be accepted <laughs> over there but what the district manager did over there was uh, labeled me as ineligible to be rehired. Mm. But on paper, there's nothing that I did to legally be ineligible to hire. So if I were to apply for like a part-time position and I will be ineligible for that too, and then the reason that they document me as ineligible, and if it turns out that if they're labeling me as that and these companies are talking to each other while I'm trying to get a job with these companies and I'm being rejected because of them, they're sabotaging me illegally. Mm. And that will get them in a lot of trouble if, you know, if it's true. Mm -hmm. And luckily for me, I have a best friend who loves to incite chaos on a whim. So there's that. Mm -hmm. Good old Lee. Yeah, good old Lee indeed. But that's but that's what he told me because like because it's because if it if I had these problems with like a store manager, it probably I'd probably be I wouldn't matter. But because I've had problems in the past with two different district managers, and they're the ones who are in charge of these companies that do the hiring, especially in management, if they're talking to each other and spreading lies about things that are not true. That's not good. I did not pee in the sink. <laughs> not, yeah. not, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> now they were pinning low productivity, which was untrue, and also theft on me, which was also proven to not be true. Wow. All because all because of uh, like one district manager. Uh, built a personal hatred for me because he tried to he tried to uh tell me what to do while i was off the clock and i wasn't having none of it because i was off the clock like i you I, bitch go away i'm not like i'm not here listening to you you know another another woman uh the other district manager that i had a problem with was probably the same thing just because I did things my own way and got things done, but because it wasn't the way that they wanted it, it's like, yo, I hate this nigga. <laughs> but if they're using, but if they're using personal gripes as a reason to hold me back, that's not good, especially for them. But that's just the nature of the beast, though. Can't be doing the same shit all the time. What the? Man, that shit got dark. Weird. <laughs> that shit got darker for a second, man. Like, well, sorry. <laughs> I wish I could find a new job myself. The problem is I can't get my uh, was it a uh, work history because I don't know the exact dates, so I had to pay like. Mm, yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. Subject to that. He was drunk most of the just time. Pick him up. <laughs> Pretty hard. Just pick him up, man. <laughs> I can't just wing it. It's just like. I worked for wing all that. the years. Oh, no. No. <laughs> well, <laughs> what about you, Mips? Um, I forgot most of my New Year's resolutions. I was kind of making them up on the spot. So all failed, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that being said, I am kind of inching close to some of the ones I did promise. Uh, yes. because uh, uh, one of them, one of the big ones was to move out, and it looks like that actually might be happening sometime, like not soon, but definitely within a year. I'll be your roommate. 
uh, <laughs> if I'm maybe uh, like I will accept if you were willing to pay for everything. Oh no! Yeah, wow. you can you can just take a knife and slice your neck right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no thanks. I like my neck. Despite despite who's not getting a roommate. <laughs> I mean, all the fat would just clog up the uh, cut anyway. I think I, I, think I would have had it. Yeah. <laughs> this got dark again. <laughs> Damn it, Eddie. <laughs> but, um, uh, like, because I do remember that some of them were, like, I do want to uh, focus on making more videos, and the other one was, uh, like, working on my drawings, which I did tell Jazz I was going to start working on that, but I told him, like, basically, like, next week because uh this year i did quit my job but so that i could focus more on my school mm -hmm. and it was also that like you know i could focus on my school so that i could fucking transfer and move out the funny thing is i'm still going to school but i've been accepted to the college i want to go to so that happened and so it's kind of like a whole fucking mess about what i'm supposed to be doing right now uh it's a mad dash to try and get organized but I think I'm holding up okay, at least, for now. You took too long. And uh, so, at, at the very least, I'm going to be uh, hopefully moving out soon. But the other stuff is just going to be like, once I fucking get like a, a good schedule down for what I'm supposed to be doing, then I think I'm going to be working on some of the other like uh, New Year's resolutions I said. But at least I gave myself like a date to follow up on. Nice. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. I don't know why I, can... I thought you guys were going to start doing like the Sesame Street count. No! What? <laughs> Fuck that count. <laughs> what is your problem? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, mean... I don't know. It was your accents. <laughs> you have a weird mind. Mm. Yeah, welcome to the channel, son. Pow! <laughs> oh. I came to the wrong sure. place. <laughs> and how do you expect me to no. run an operation right now? No, I have no real else we got for the podcast? Other than resolutions? I think it was side stories. Prostitution. Prostitution. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, side stories, then plugs, then we finish up. Plugs. No, Alright. The last so, time I bought a plug. <laughs> Let's Whoa. not talk about that. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, man. You keep Twitch that terms of service. Cut that shit up. <laughs> you, don't know what type of, you don't know what type of plug I bought. I don't need to know. <laughs> Twitch doesn't need to know. That's the problem. Twitch wants to know. It just has to pretend that like it doesn't. You only need it to power your vacuum cleaner. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, you're, what kind of sick fuck is this? <laughs> what? Thank God you cleared that up for me. I mean, no, I've still got so splendor. many questions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I pressed the button. You can oh, blame okay. Cosmo for just putting plugs. I mean, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying Why to think you... about that as I'm reading this. Like, where are you getting this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, you said plugs. So, yeah, like, fucking I... your channel. Uh, oh. Wait, what? <laughs> that sounds like what are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. I'm tired. <laughs> We're all tell. tired, dude. We're still here. <laughs> let's talk about plugs. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys ever see it's that Christmas tree stream. that looked like a plug? Kumbaya. <laughs> <laughs> No, mm -hmm. I, was, I only really had one side story, to be honest. And, um, mm -hmm. <laughs> since we're going to dark places. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> so, God, I don't know. chilly in this room. <laughs> <laughs> Jess is calling um, Oh, yeah, you know how I do. I don't have a soul, after all, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Jess is the portal to hell. That <laughs> I, I oh, thought you knew that. <laughs> it's not here in your resume. Damn it. <laughs> no, I think you might know who this is. You know who OMG it's Andre is. Um, right, Mipsy? Uh I feel like we have I have heard about that before. 
uh, I think he was like a Marvel Street Fighter player. Uh, yep. For the most part, yeah. Okay. So, I don't know if y'all have heard about the whole scandal development with him, with the whole Me Too movement going on. Oh, he got Me too Oh, he got me no. too. He got me too. Oh no. He, he got me too. Damn. No. I'm not going to try let first things first. Let me get this out of the way. I'm trying to defend him in oh. any aspect of the way. Oh. Mainly because he has gotten into some deep shit before, like stealing money and whatnot. Oh. So to say that he did this isn't almost out of the realm of possibility. <laughs> that almost sounds like a but, defense. <laughs> I mean, I'm saying he might have done it. So, <laughs> is that That's really why I said almost? <laughs> the only, the main problem I'm having with this situation, as of right now, because there still hasn't been true confirmation, is that this is mostly a he shaved, he he said versus she said uh, he, scenario. Who, who did he shave? <laughs> he shaved everyone. <laughs> Give me really them legs bad. that I'm going to shave off your head. <laughs> hair was just everywhere. It was Keep talking like master. that and I'm going to shave you. <laughs> he was like that dude from Courage of Kylie, no. And it was really bad. <laughs> oh yeah, the guy was always like, naughty. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it was really bad. No. <laughs> No, like, this is the main problem I have with the situation. Hashtag respect women. Hashtag we respect women here. 2018. You were not getting Oprah on me. <laughs> we have to upgrade from respecting women to respecting women. <laughs> exactly. I mean, can we shorten that hashtag? I don't think we can. Or Oprah will probably come on all of us. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag Oprah's, Oprah's theory. <laughs> The, like the main the main problem I have with the story that it's a he said versus she said for the most part there hasn't really been any big proof on it and a lot of people are automatically just pointing the finger at him just because she said it but yes she has a vagina what more proof do you need uh. well, well I mm, I'm not going down that route. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? No. <laughs> you not I I no. Bad movie. <laughs> you go to the corner. I can't, I'm not taking it there. <laughs> Regardless. But I go ahead. All we... <laughs> I promise that'll be good. <laughs> No, I was going to say, we technically don't know if she does have a chance. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. What a twist! Regardless. <laughs> you know, I'm just going to put this in here just to give you a heads up, Cosmo. You can join your friend to get that Rio thing. Mm hmm. Oh, sweet. I might do that then. Oh, is the Rio event out? Yeah. Oh, sweet. I gotta get on. I'm to playing it right now, technically. You no. bastard. The podcast you the isn't music. your primary concern? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> He's cornered. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Objection! <laughs> God damn it. Uh, I'm, just, this is... <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I, I, to be flying around in an insect leaf, okay? It's, it's like, <laughs> I wish I had fucking, like, uh, Corey Coleman's computer shit right now just so that I could put up that fucking song. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm just gonna get this one quick because I don't want to stop to do too much on it. Literally, this Me Too thing, as big as it is, and it should have happened, like, years ago, literally... It's almost getting out of hand in my because literally a similar thing happened with uh, James Franco, where he got me too as well. The thing is, it turned out to be false, and a lot of people are saying that it cost him his Oscar. Man, now, that shouldn't be a thing that should be happening, in my opinion. That anybody can say anything and you lose shit because of it. That's where I draw the line here. If there's no hard evidence, 
maybe rethink your uh, opinion on the shit. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah. Okay, I, I, I'll say this. Unfortunately, with the way that it stands now, all it takes is just one simple accusation to ruin a man's life just Which, because yes. you have a vagina, and that's bullshit. Exactly. But yeah, I, I'm kind of in agreement because it's just like, like this. I like the, like it's because in my mind, there's like two definitions of feminism. There's the feminism where it's just like, you know, you can give, uh, you can do nice shit to a man and give shit to a man. And do the same exact thing for a woman. Either give her shit, you know, playfully, or like, be, like, be a total asshole. You know, like everything goes both ways. There's that one. And then there's yes. like the the current version of feminism, which is more of like, you know, you can treat like the man like garbage, but if anything happens to the woman, then you're fucking in trouble. And honestly, mm -hmm. I I hate that version. I hate it. Mm -hmm. It's gotten it's gotten too extreme because they're putting too much emotion and not enough logic into it. Exactly. Like, just to put an example, because I was reading through comments, because he's already been banned from all the events this year. Like, all the events, he's uh, he's banned. He can't go in. Um, I was reading some of the comments through the, on the Facebook page, and there were people who were trying to, like, saying what I was saying. There's really no hard evidence, so he's kind of getting punished prematurely almost a little bit. Yeah. Now, like, like I said before, he's already been kind of caught stealing money and stuff, so... I can see where the, the tournament person is coming from on that aspect. He's kind of done some stupid shit. Mm, do we really want to test this one? I see that. But when somebody was saying that, the very next comment was basically calling the person who was saying that the same person as he was, uh, as Andre was. A person who probably does rapey shit to women and whatnot. And I'm thinking, whoa, that's like, super extreme there. <laughs> Just because somebody just put their opinion, now they're the same person as the one accused? What the fuck? <laughs> it's it's honestly basically like a worse uh, worse than Hitlerism. Hmm. It it's, really it is. <laughs> it's people. I mean, well, we're we're in the FGC. We're on the internet, so we kind of see it a little bit differently. But people are way too sensitive. But it's like the sensitivity is turned into two really bad extremes. It's one extreme where it's like, okay, yes, people have been doing fucked up shit, and it's cool that it's coming to light because people shouldn't be doing fucked up shit. But now it's that okay, we're in the age of social media. What it takes to get famous on social media is for some fucked up shit to happen. So if I accuse this this uh, famous person of sticking their finger in my ass, now I not only have I not, not, not only have I ruined their life, but now I have the social media status that I deserve. Why is there got to be a finger up your ass? And who did Why it? are you asking questions like that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm just gonna gloss over that. Right back in there. <laughs> me and me, me and Phantom just keep asking questions, and Jazz is like off some other room. <laughs> like just I was over there her, in says. Japan, and you went back to America. <laughs> we demand answers. Who put it up there? <laughs> <laughs> no, because we even. Even me and some of my friends were talking about this as well. <laughs> I thought you were going to say something else, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought he was going to say, me and my friends were talking about the finger up yes too. <laughs> That's for later. Anyway, it's, that, that, uh, it, it's because we see this stuff going on, and it's just like, like we've been saying, like, it's like, okay, cool, and he did some messed up stuff, where's your evidence? Uh, mm -hmm. I don't. I don't need evidence. It's the emotional. How can you say that? Eh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. But, exactly. But like, and yeah, and like I'm saying, because it's just like at, at the moment, the way the 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 current version of feminism is like, it pisses me off because it's just like you know, a guy tries to defend himself, all of a sudden, like he's like, uh, and anyone that's trying to defend him or the guy tries to defend himself is like he's squirming. They're they're all just as bad, you know, like uh, fucking like they're all scum. But it's just like, if anything happens to a woman, it's just like, well, she's clearly in the right, you know, like, she's never done anything wrong. It's it's like, it's not like it's fucking possible for women to be scummy too, right? <laughs> mm. and it's no, just, heaven forbid, the almighty vagina is cleared of all wrongdoing. I know. And, like, that, that it honestly, like, it, it really irritates me because it should be like, it should be like a fucking case-by-case -case basis. Is this guy scummy? Yes. Is this woman scummy? Also, yes. Is this guy innocent? Yes. Is she, is, uh, is she innocent? Yes, fucking. We should, we should simplify a little bit further than that. Like, is this person being scummy? Yes, as opposed to like, 
it's because it's it people are making everything about gender and all that other bullshit but you know what i mean this whole gender like, fluid thing this whole that, like i'm not i'm not this gender i'm that gender it doesn't matter it doesn't fucking matter you are a shitty person not you moopsy I, I love you <laughs> yeah moopsy quit being shitty motherfucker. <laughs> if i'm going down i'm taking you all with me <laughs> well then, like i'm already I just hell, didn't, so. <laughs> but, you, but you you get you get what i'm trying to say it's like i'm trying to transcend it past a man or woman or x y and z being shitty to that particular person right there is shitty. Well, yes. <laughs> you well, you see you see where I'm coming from, but right. I see where you're coming from too. Right. I'm I'm just saying that because it's kind of like I, like one of those. I'm not. I don't know. Like sometimes it, it can get irritating for me about like the whole. It's just like I identify as a tree. It's just like what the fuck. <laughs> I've seen some shit like that. So. Yeah, so um, that, like, like that's the, that's the thing that fucking irritates me because it, it's just like, look, I don't care what the fuck you are, either you're a shitty person or you're not, and I hate people, so you're shitty. Yep. Well, I do identify as a bush. I actually identify as a rat. So I thought you would have identified as like a ghost or something, Phantom. <laughs> that's my second identification. I mean, it's in your name. I'm one of the more genders. I am multi-gendered. I identify as the internet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm actually Google. <laughs> <laughs> the way fucking Phantom left was like, okay, now we're just getting silly. It's like, really? That's the fucking line? <laughs> <laughs> we're just now getting silly? <laughs> okay, I mean, now you're just telling crazy talk. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, bitch, fuck you. <laughs> But, yeah, that's uh, when it ended. Yeah, <laughs> in all seriousness, though, it's just like, uh, like the, the mm. it's necessary. Like the the Me Too movement, it's totally necessary. At the same time, mm. there has there someone does need to rein it in a little bit. Yeah, mm. there was a there was a thing where someone tried to Me Too Aziz Ansari. Yeah, uh, he's a comedian, mm. and he was just like. And the way that she even said the story, he's just like, yeah, I sucked his dick, but I don't know if I felt 100% okay with it. Yeah, yeah, But he didn't force his dick down your throat, right? No, 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 I did it myself. I'm done. Like, <laughs> and like, we're done. But, but, but no, see, dick in mouth. Clearly he was a rapist. Right, yeah, absolutely. But someone tried to get Aziz Ansari into some shit. Oh, it, it's like now a bad sexual experience can be turned into rape now. Mm-hmm. It's just like, well, I mean, I really don't like the way that this. I'm gonna say something stupid, right? I'm just prepare yourself. I'm I'm gonna say something off the walls here. Okay, uh, you're talking to me. So. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am talking. I am talking the most. But the way, because the way the shit can go down is, well, I don't like the way that he ate my ass. So he forcefully <laughs> tied me down and ate my ass against my will. He just wasn't good at it. But he raped me with his tongue. You know what I mean? mean? People get into no. some stupid ass arguments. One star. You'd on be Yelp. surprised. Yeah. You'd be surprised. You and would get surprised. It, it, it's, <laughs> it's kind it of gets like ridiculous, uh, like that, Phantom. It's kind of like the thing of like, okay, now that the like now that we have power, we're gonna abuse it, and it's just kind of like, God damn, man, it hasn't even been a year yet. I mean, think of it this way: we have a tied pod challenge right now <laughs> people That's natural stupid selection. ass shit <laughs> yeah nah but you know what natural selection as it made me man tied stock just like went the fuck up son the sad thing like, is that it's just like i'm actually better at natural selection than some people <laughs> yeah okay I, i'm not eating tide pods so that's gotta be worth something i'm looking at you too. <laughs> <laughs> He's giving us the stare. <laughs> yeah, that's that. All that really the only thing I just was just just wait for evidence before you just start fucking trying to kill somebody. <laughs> yeah, just like if, like I mean, for example, like a good a good kind was uh that one uh, gymnas uh, gymnastics coach that got exposed like from the whole division for uh like molesting people on the way up mm -hmm. and it's sure, like yeah. and and it's like uh, but when somebody exposed that that's the type of stuff that they're looking for you know what i mean 
piss one do piss one of the girl's dad so off do try to fucking steal off on him in the courtroom. Mm-hmm. But but then even then that's the type of stuff that needs to be brought into the light, not like somebody having a bad time. Well, okay, well I'm just gonna just call rape. He raped me, yes. Mm-hmm. It's like it's it's getting too extreme. It's getting too extreme to the point where it's just like it's just like, hey Eddie, how you doing? Uh, nope, nope, uh uh-uh. uh. My hands are to myself. <laughs> if uh I have to have a camera around me at all times. I have to become a, a vlogger just to make sure I don't fuck up. <laughs> you have to talk to me with this glass right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or, or or have to have become a bubble boy. Me. <laughs> have them sign a contract. It's just like, hey, I have, I want you to, I need you to sign this, so that way we had a consenting conversation about birds. All right. <laughs> How about sentient birds? Yeah. I identify as a non-sentient bird, and this is triggering me. You'll, you'll be all right. Call. Hey, how you doing, smoke boss? <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> I'll take it. Chirp. <laughs> but, uh, that's all I had. Anybody else? Do you um, think that, like, if a guy uh, fucked a girl bad and she was going to meet to him, but then he becomes a transgender woman, do you think she could still do that? Uh, I don't even know anymore. Yes. It depends. It depends on whether the trans woman has still has their diddly attached to them. No, this is post-op. Oh, post op? Uh, probably. Yeah, they still could. They still could. Yeah, but it's, it's, still... it's to a woman. <laughs> it they... doesn't matter. <laughs> they don't care about that. Oh, are you, you trans know, shaming? Literally, you oh, think boy. that women don't rape women in prison? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have some tapes. I think, I think he thinks of it as like maybe it's all lollipops. Everything's pain. <laughs> <laughs> Again, the tapes. <laughs> Like, what did you what did you think? Just like, yeah, I raped you as a man, but I'm now a woman, so we're cool, right? Like, you know? <laughs> I got a force <laughs> field. One of my dirty enemies. <laughs> okay, I can totally see this happening. Okay, I sorry, in in an effort to make amends, I cut my own dick off. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to see where this conversation went. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> no. Nah, I'm oh, not gosh. I don't think it'd matter. Because they'd probably be so hung up on the fact that you had a dick at some point, and that's the person who raped me, not the person that they are now. Exactly. But, but it's like, but I'm a, I'm a changed man to the point where I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, they could probably also go like, that person is dead, literally, fucking, like yeah. the dicks in the garbage over there. Mm-hmm. And even then, like even then, all these different, all these different genders and shit are like insulting to like actual trans people which sucks mm-hmm. yeah, they're not happy i don't know we need no. to find someone who that identifies as a pen to solve this a, as a what homie a pen yeah wait why a pen i don't know i see some You're pens not... on my desk it's because a pen is mightier than a anything. sword isn't it you yeah. just find anything laying around and just identify with it <laughs> can't i I identify as this brush. I identify as my knife. I identify I identify as the FBI person looking at me through my webcam. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Eddie, can you see this? In the honor of poems, I identify as a mirror. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> He's unlocking the secrets of the universe. Mind blown. Whoa. <laughs> How do you see yourself? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but, I forgot how to turn on the. I mean, turn in these tickets. <laughs> Moopsie, I don't know, but it's never the real me. <laughs> <laughs> I change every five seconds. <laughs> oh gosh! No, that's all I had. Anybody else? No, I told you my story with the whole job thing and all that. <laughs> really, it's the first time hearing of it. I don't believe you. <laughs> this, is, this, is, I this mean, is his story. <laughs> Bring. <laughs> I just got what you said. <laughs> uh, I mean, I said most of my stuff for uh, when we were talking about resolutions. 
I feel like there was something I was going to mention, but then I forgot. So now I identify as a water bottle. Okay. Can I drink you? <laughs> well, there you go. I don't know. I, I have to consider giving consent. <laughs> water bottles don't have a will. <laughs> bottle shaming. Water bottles don't matter. Water bottles' lives don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to start a movement. Somebody give me Twitter. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, hmm. Oh, well, nah, I'm not going to talk about that. <laughs> I'll save that for next time, no. Wow. No. Bottles matter. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think, I think I'm good. All right, that's our podcast then. Let's do some plugs, guys, and not those plugs, Phantom. I'm watching yeah. you. Uh, <laughs> give him another uh, stare. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching you through a glass so he can show consent. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget he's a mirror. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. Wait, is it over? Uh, well, we're no, not done we're recording. We still have to do our plugs Holy and our sign off. <laughs> oh, oh, here. Like, how about um, this? I got it. I got it for you. Here. I'm going to do like I'm going to handle the entire outro. Because, well, I do it for YouTube videos all the time and shit. Thank you, everybody, for watching this humble, no-name podcast. This is episode number four. My name is Baker. I was joined by Kazuma Jazz, Mr. Moopsie, and Phantom Combo, our special guest this time. Damn straight. Our respective, our respective Twitch and YouTube. Don't interrupt! Principal. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> It was going so perfectly. It was going so fucking perfectly. I didn't start it once. I was, I was in the zone and you fucked it up. This is why you won't survive in radio. No, no, I won't. And as he fucks but it up, I then again, my pen. And again, I won't have, I won't have dickweeds like you. Say, hey, shut up! We should host our own radio station. <laughs> what? This is a thing I get for trying to help you, Eddie? <laughs> help, you just interrupted me. You just called me a bitch and made fun of the fact that I didn't have a job during this podcast. Don't you mean all the things I've done for you? Get out of here. In my defense, I'm a mirror. So, <laughs> but no, I mean, you can keep going, Eddie. I, I'm here. I'm there. I'm, I'm He's here to rain us in. <laughs> I kind of did finish it off really well. With but bitch? Now, now it's just the, like the after party. Yeah, baby. Yeah. All right. Well. Phantom's passed out on the couch. <laughs> All right. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Okay, I officially stopped streaming after that last comment right there. Uh, Good job. Well, we didn't do our plugs. <laughs> we're, we're, still, we're still recording. We're still recording. He, like, we'll just have send them down. Okay, so, well, you didn't tell them where you can find each other. Our respective YouTube and Twitch channel. You never said that because you got interrupted. <laughs> yes, I did. I said that before I got interrupted. Who are you? Yeah. Well, then, look, look, just say it again for the audio we're recording. I'm going to give it to Jazz, uh, and so he can give it to you, and then you can use that for your video. Man, fuck Jazz. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Today's theme I'm of the day is mirror. fuck Jazz. <laughs> <laughs> or mirrors and no. bottles matter. <laughs> Mirror lives matter, too. <laughs> <laughs> They're not so easily shattered. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least try. You can follow me at Phantom Combo to Twitch. That's it. And that's that on that. <laughs> and Phantom Combo Twitter. What else there do you want you go. from me? <laughs> and my YouTube Phantom Combo. Why do you Instagram? sound like that? <laughs> I don't know. It's like it sounds like he's pouting. Come it on, sounds yeah. like you were yawning throughout that entire thing. He's like, I'm <laughs> angry. Follow me on Phantom Combo. <laughs> I don't like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> that makes two of us. I'm trying to be a Sundar plug. I mean, you can follow me on Twitter if you want, you baka. <laughs> you can follow. <laughs> you should do that from now on. Honestly. Look here, you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad I started recording again. <laughs> I'm glad I never stopped. <laughs> I mean, I can do this. It's all Cinder. Like, look here. You can follow me on Cosmo Jazz. You can get me if you want it. Or you don't. Uh, I didn't do this for you guys. I'm just saying. But uh, you should still follow me also on Twitch, you know. 
with my snaggle tooth on my right <laughs> if you want i guess <laughs> i can't keep going <laughs> New subgenre. <laughs> oh gosh. Right, I guess so we, we should we should introduce and end our podcast like that every single time. <laughs> Whoever can keep it up, honestly, I'm fucking dying. <laughs> oh gosh, I can't keep up seeing the record. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> Don't have the chops. I just uh, keep saying I'm sorry, like Yuri was. <laughs> Uh, well, I feel so fucking good right now. I touched myself with the pen you gave me. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, Venom. It doesn't. It, or oh, God damn it! I keep calling you Venom. <laughs> <laughs> Two totally different people. I know. <laughs> I met Eddie. You? I'm drunk. <laughs> it's Are like you okay. Really drunk? No. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm just tired. <laughs> But it's like it. It doesn't work on Jazz, Eddie, because Jazz's character is gay. What? What was this? Mm. Oh, you mean my character in the game? Yeah, he was totally gay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? what? What character in what game? And Doki Doki. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kind of like, okay, we're talking about, like, fucking how he touched himself nah, with the pen, and he's not talking about Doki Doki? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, no. Doki Doki's was... a great game. It should be at Evo. <laughs> Dude, Doki Doki for Evo Finals. Doki Doki. <laughs> Replacing Marvel. <laughs> You versus Monica, let's go. <laughs> Just Monica? Just Monica. <laughs> <laughs> like coming in now. Phantom Combo versus Just Monica. 1v1 Rust. Let's oh, do it. Dude, dude, someone has to fucking enter an Evo tournament named Just Monica. Uh, I totally do it. <laughs> oh, I know who would do that. Sutenshi would do that. Someone has to do that. Honestly. Put this out on the internet. Someone has to do it. You guys I'd have be Twitter. surprised if one person doesn't do it. <laughs> now here comes Daigo versus just Monica. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, uh, I'll, I'll say just this. Uh, follow me on Twitch TV at Mr. Moopsy because I still haven't plugged in. <laughs> no, but on the serious note, do follow me on Cosmic Jazz. I'm working on a bunch of big projects on my YouTube channel, which is also the same thing as Cosmic Jazz, same as my Twitch. And all that other good stuff. I mean, you don't really have to follow me on Twitter because I really don't. But really, you're going to want to tune in for next. Often. You I really should use it more often. But happy February, guys. Happy Festivus. And I hope you had a great Valentine's Day yesterday. If not, I'll be your Valentine. Oh, uh, now you'll ooh. be my Valentine. Wow. <laughs> I'd rather stay single. Wow. You wait until the day is over with. Like, yeah, I'll be your Valentine. No commitment. <laughs> know what you're getting yourself into, ladies. <laughs> no commitment. What a scumbag. What an asshole. <laughs> uh, is that everybody? Or... Yeah. Everybody. Uh, all right. Uh, thank you all for joining us, and we'll see you next time on the possibly final episode. See ya. Huh.